Hey, welcome to the stream, Laura. I see it's your first time here. Uh, it's going pretty well so far, by my standards. Last stream was a bit of a technical nightmare, but we've gotten things sorted out now, so hopefully that'll be behind us. I think the canon interpretation of those technical issues last time is that um, Jojamart Mor Morris caught wind of our perfection challenge. And he wanted to make sure we spent as much money as possible. So when he we heard we were going to spend as little money as possible, he hacked the mainframe and sabotaged my internet so I would stop streaming. But we've found a workaround now, and that should be the end of that. So, Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hope you're all uh, having a great night here. Ch special shout-outs to the 3 a.m. gang. I know there's a few of you out there, so uh, thank you for tuning in so late slash early. And 69 Infiltrator, thank you for kicking us off with a $5 Super Chat. Important question, paper or plastic? I mean, it highly depends on the context, so... I will need more specificity, but in general, I'd say probably paper. Before we get into the... Uh, I've got a couple things I wanted to go through before we get into the actual stream here. A few minor things. Um, first, this music is a little chaotic. But it's a it's fine. It's it's part of the Stardew experience. First, what I wanted to show off, actually, if I can get my stuff sorted out here, we got a couple pieces of fan art, a few pieces of fan art, actually, that I wanted to show off quickly before the stream because I was never expecting any sort of fan art. Um, so the fact that I've already gotten three pieces. is kind of wild. You don't hear music? It's telling me that it's uh, playing music, so hopefully that's... Ho hopefully you, you all can hear this insanity that's going on in the background, but maybe maybe I messed something up there, but either way, let's look at this fan art really quick. This one was sent to me by... This is actually the first one that was mentioned in chat on the very first stream, is uh, from Vivian also known as Nina. You can see her Twitter handle in the bottom left there. That's going to hold true for all of these uh, pieces of fan art. You hear music? Good. Good, good. But this is Chloe, obviously. Beautiful as ever. I really love this interpretation of, of her. It's actually just like... And you see there's a little, little Junimo on her lapel there? That's a nice little touch. I, of course, love the lucky bow in her hair. That's become kind of staple with her lately, so I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, uh, thank you very much, Vivian. I don't know if you're in the chat today, but it is it is a uh, beautiful piece of fan art. Uh, the next one we've got, you many of you might have actually already seen because it was part of my um, part of my community post here. We got Tim Beeb and the Tim Beebs from Pyrus Inc., who I know is in chat. I've seen you chatting in there, so hello, Pyrus, and thank you for this uh, amazing interpretation of our little buddy. Tim Beeb is actually so, uh, <laughs> so incredible. You gotta love the little blep he's got going on with his tongue, and I love all the, little, the colors and, like, the different sort of emotions he got going on with the, uh, with the Tim Beebs around him. He is a chunky boy, you're not wrong about that. Tim Beeb, our beloved. 
So there's from, that's from Pyrus Inc. again on Twitter. You can see the, the, the handle on the bottom left. Our final piece of fan art for today. We got Chloe and Tim Beeb here. This is, uh, I absolutely adore this art style. Number one. This is like, this is, this is, this is just too cute for words, personally. I love the interpretation. I love the sweater around the, around the waist. That's something I totally do sometimes, so. And the hug is, it's just, there's so much, there's so much to love about this one. There's so much to love about all of them. That's from Jazzy Bolch over on, uh, Twitter. So, uh, yes, thank you very much for that. Yes, that is from Sloth in chat. I believe. I believe Sloth's in chat right now. I'm not positive, but... There you are. That is all of them. That's all the fan art I've gotten. If you want to... If you have any fan art you want to send in yourself, um, I'm planning on setting up some sort of an email for that, just to make it a little more accessible. But for now, if you tweet it at me or send it to me in a Twitter DM, that is probably the best way to do it. That is how I received all of these so far, so that's that. Now let's go ahead and hop into actual Stardew Land here. This is my; These are my save files right now. Again, a little bit of sneak peek, but let me get the actual like music of the game going too here. Sound from the real game. Okay. Be super careful with the emails. I know, I know. Don't worry about that. I've, I, I've, I've got my internet security skills on lockdown. I'm not an internet novice here, so. You consider making a Discord server? I have actually, and that's probably something in the works too. But it's, uh, I just don't have the time right now to commit to it. So. No game audio. I think I uh, just turned it on, so it should be there now. Um. Real quick, I wanted to actually, I know I know we're a little late getting started into the actual perfection run here, but I noticed this the other day, and I just, I can't believe I didn't notice this sooner. We're going to actually not uh, go to Frugal Farm at first here, we're going to go back to Lazy Farm, check out Chloe Prime for a second. You can see we're on the first day of fall in year 17. Um, so we spent a very long time on this farm. I'm not going to really show anything around here because there might be spoilers for upcoming videos. But uh, yeah, we got like our whole little house going on. We've we've done uh, the the community server is complete on this file. Um, let me hold on, minimize this so I can actually see what I've got going on here. What are your pronouns? He slash him for me. Um, we got a nice little setup going on here. We're, we even have a uh, we even have Krobus over here as our housemate. We got a, f a fresh stone owl. All this good stuff going on. It's amazing. Vincent is an adult now. Vincent and Jass are fully grown up in year 17. What is what is this disrespect? Concerned Ape, I have questions. I'm newcomer? Why? I get that it's based on your level, and obviously we haven't been doing that well in that department, despite being 17 years in. Like, what the heck is that, man? Newcomer, seven, I'm just imagining I'm walking through, going to my 17th egg festival, and it's like, oh, there's the new farmer again, just waltzed into town, and I'm like, I've been here long enough to grow up into like a fully fledged adult almost. The she, the audacity, that's what I'm saying, honestly. It's, <laughs> oh lord, ruin the save, level up. I can I can't do that to my girl. Let's actually get into the like the real meat and potatoes of the stream though, because that's just a funny little thing I noticed. All right, back to Frugal Farm. What are our goals right now? Um, I actually saw someone mention it in chat earlier, and I did have it on my mind. Haley has her birthday on the thirteenth, I believe. So we gotta keep that in mind. And I don't know if I can really get uh, a loved gift for her because all of her loved gifts are pretty difficult to acquire. There is the potential of finding a pink cake via a slime, but that's like exceedingly hard, so. Next challenge, uninstall Stardew Valley. It's an impossible challenge. It can't be done. Once you're in, you're in for life. Alright, um, we do have Robin's Lost Axe to find as well, as well as this delivery of a bream to Clint. This is the final day for that. Did, that. did I actually catch that bream, or am I, like, going crazy? I do have the bream here, okay. That is good to know. 
the newest person. I'm still the newest person to arrive in 17 years. You're not wrong, actually. Doesn't she love that? She it's only a like for daffodils. That is correct. But that, that might be the best we can do, unfortunately, for her birthday. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. Goals for this stream are pretty much the same as the goals for the last stream because the last stream got cut so short. Um, I want to make it deeper in the mines. I want to get as many of the fish as I can for the uh, fish tank here. There's a decent amount that I can get. You're welcome, Adrian, by the way, for the shout-out. And thank you as well to Jam for the uh, soup for the $5 super chat, stream three. I, you skipped your son's baptism for this. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I appreciate the commitment to the cause, honestly. Um, We got to keep getting friends. And that's kind of it for now. I want, also want to keep checking the traveling carts, keep looking around. For, I need to get in the habit of looking for supply crates as well. Traveling cart is not here today, so that's uh, that's good. We don't need to worry about that. Put some more trash in there. Let's... Is it a mining or a fishing kind of day? That's that's what uh, the real question is right now. It's a fishing kind of day. For the time being. Why do you pick Beachside? Beach Farm is the only one where you can get uh, free wheat flour and sugar. As far as I know. Because you can get it from the supply crates. The only other way you get those is from... Buying them from Pierre or from the mill, both of which cost money, which we are trying to avoid. Uh, what was I doing? Okay, so I need to keep this bream on me. I'm going to go ahead and dump the scythe. Let me think. Is chat up to speed? I hope so. I hope everything is relatively clear. Um... See, this is my this is my problem. I always have such a hard time like focusing on any one thing. What made you think of the name Timbeeb? Um, I believe Charlie Barley spearheaded the movement for, to name our dog Timbeeb the first time she came in the stream chat, and everyone was on board, or a lot of people were on board anyway. So you know, it was just kind of a uh, kind of I kind of got peer pressured into it, but I wouldn't have it any other way, quite frankly. We're gonna go down and find Robin's lost axe real quick. You have no idea what's going on? Me neither. So uh, we're in we're in this together. I'm just glad you're here to in to experience it with me. Quite honestly. Tim Beeb is a wonderful name. Yeah, absolutely true. I've grown to love it very very quickly. All right, let's pick up some spring onions because it couldn't hurt, right? Couldn't hurt to just have them. Even got a goldie in there. I don't mind that. All right, Robin, you always lose your axe in the same spot. So that's very good news for me. Didn't she give the axe last time? Last time we entered a, a, a time loop, actually, when I, when I had to call the stream early. I only got a little ways into this day, and then I had to reset it. We didn't do anything very important, so it's not a huge deal. I did pick up the axe last time. I never got to, I never got the chance to return it before uh, before the Jojo Mart sabotage situa situation. Either way, let me get in the habit of checking these trash cans as well. Oh, you know what? There's a small chance I think that you could get a uh, you can get a pink cake from the saloon's garbage can. Ooh, wouldn't that be just like a freaking miracle? Just, just in time for Haley's birthday, give her some, like, garbage cake. <laughs> she doesn't need to know, know where I come from. Okay, her birthday's on the 14th. Egg Festival's on the 13th. That's right. I think I got those mixed up. Talk to everyone real quick. Just to, just get some easy friendship points. So we're going to need to build up a uh, friendship for a very long time here, obviously. Uh, Clint's is open now, so I can go give him this bream. Might as well get that out of the way. Will you complete the community center? It is a, uh, technically a requi- It's not, like, a, an explicit requirement for perfection, but in order to get to Ginger Island, you need to complete the community center. So, yes, I will be completing the community center. We're not shopping. That's the last thing I want to do. I just want to give you your bream, sir. Eat Bream right in front of him? I couldn't possibly. 
when when the option was presented, I will admit I was a little bit tempted, but uh, no, we want those friendship points and that money. No money, no skills, two-year perfection challenge. I don't know if that can be done. <laughs> Maybe with the absolute, like, top-tier RNG. RNG not seen this side of, like, a dream speedrun. But, uh... Yeah, it seems, seems quite unlikely. You're welcome, Adrian. Always happy to shout out, uh, shout out chat members. All right, Robin, got you a lost axe here. Just knocking out these quests left, right, and center. We want to hold on to as much money as possible, not only because we like we don't have to really spend it on anything yet, but in order to have the money we need to buy things from the traveling cart if the opportunity arises. I am extremely excited for Haunted Chocolate here. It is going to be just a phenomenal time, I can already tell. You want something from me? No. Just wanted to say hello, Linus. Alright, I'm feeling... I mean, we're already here. We might as well do a little little lakeside fishing. Couldn't hurt. What do I need for the community center that I can get from the lake? Um, Where's lake fishing bundle? I always forget. Largemouth bass, carp. I think I can get all these except for the sturgeon. The sturgeon, I think I have to wait till summer. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it, I believe that's the case. The power of cheese will give you luck. This is not modded meadows, so uh, I don't think cheese is our friend here. In fact, cheese is one of the hardest things to find in this freaking challenge. Although I guess once we get access to Calco Desert and we get access to milk, sort of, cheese isn't so bad to come by. What money have I spent so far? I have spent 60 gold for a single bean starter. Because there's no other way to get the uh, green bean that we need for, to complete the community center. It's one of three seeds that I'll need to buy for the, uh, for the community center. That's a chub. Not required for any of the fish tank bundles, but I believe that is a requirement for the... Um, for the field research bundle. No cheese equals hard time in the mines? You're telling me. Will you play The Binding of Isaac Repentance? Not anytime soon, like, on stream, but I would love to play more of that game. I mean, I'm... I have, like, over 2,000 hours in that game, so it's, uh, definitely not out of the question. How do you plan to get money for the clock? That is the least of my concerns right now, quite frankly. I know I'm going to need a lot of money for the clock, obviously. But the amount of time we're going to have to spend on various... We're going to have to spend, sorry, on various grinds in this game. It's going to be... Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out as we go along, I'm pretty sure. Nothing but chubs today, huh? That is the plan for milk, uh, Lizzie, actually. There's you, there's a random chance for Sandy to give you milk anytime you talk to her in Calico Desert, so that is, uh, that's the only way, real way we can get milk. For free, at, at any rate. Without buying a, buying a barn, obviously. There's our bullhead. One of the fish down. When you said cheese, you were just being dumb dumb. I know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We like we like to have fun here. I'm always down for a good meme. You run this based on one of the deadly sins, Greek gluttonies, etc. We've already done sloth in the form of our uh, no level up challenge. And this is pretty much the embodiment of greed right now. It's like penny pinching as much as possible. There's our carp, by the way. Just need a largemouth bass, and we're pretty much clear here. So who knows? Maybe that maybe it'll become a running theme. Mm -hmm. 
There's a set amount of gold you can't really escape from considering you have to buy a lot of buildings for perfection. The building, there are a few buildings you definitely have to buy for perfection. Um, namely all the obelisks, obviously, and the golden clock, because they are explicitly required for perfection. Beyond that, as far as I can remember from my research, the only one that's actually required for us is going to be the fish pond. Anything else, like the, uh, the barn, the coop, silo, mill, slime hutch, we don't need any of it. Because it is cheaper to buy all the products we could get from the... That we, that we need, anyway, that we could get from the barn and such. From the traveling cart instead. It's kind of an RNG nightmare, don't get me wrong, but it is distinctly possible. Oh, there's our largemouth bass. Well, let's go, like, uh, fill these in at the community. Actually, let's, uh, let's, let's, like, fish one more time. I just, I'm feeling lucky. A lot less than you thought it would be for buildings? Yeah, I, I didn't realize how many, how few buildings you really need in this, uh, in order to complete perfection. It's kind of amazing. Oh, this one's a feisty one. I think it's a bullhead, maybe? I had to guess. That's another chub. I mean, that's, that should have been my first guess, really. Don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> We only catch chubs around here. Which requirement for completion do you think will be the hardest? Probably shipping. The amount of, like, nonsense you have to do, like... Yeah, you have to, like, do so much for shipping. It's unreal, like, based be between, like, getting stuff from the traveling cart at certain prices, going through Skull Caverns to the treasure rooms to, like, find as much to find, like, very specific items that you have, like, only a 1 in 700 chance of finding, and you have to do it multiple times. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be kind of nightmarish. If you're interested in seeing what I, what I believe the, uh, current required costs are, by the way, you can check the description for a spreadsheet, for a spreadsheet to that sort of thing. Do I need something? No, I'm just making small talk. You know you're my girl, right? I should have swung by the community center when I was up there. I have to head all the way back. That's okay. Well, I'm in no rush. We don't have a speed run timer on this thing. Why do those tasks make perfection? That is a question for uh, one concerned ape, I believe. Also, I should bring back my hoe for that artifact spot. What am I? Where am I going? I'm trying to go to the community center. You know what? I might as well just go back to the farm for now. Grab my hoe. Get all this stuff in order. Just got a dino egg from fishing. Congrats. I hope I can be so lucky. Uh, have I given two gifts to Haley this week? I have. Okay. But I can still give one on her birthday. So that'll be good to know. Um, sell these chubs. Mostly just sell these as well. Green algae. I don't think I need. Hold on to that. And the rest of these we'll go ahead and put... Nope, not there. Do I think Grandpa will be proud of me this time in that one cutscene? I don't know how, how much progress I'm going to make in the first two years before Grandpa judges me so harshly. So we're going we're gonna to discover that together. I already have given a prehistoric hand axe, by the way. What kind of ripoff is this? Alright, go ahead and sneak a, sneak a late night community center visit in. Don't mind if I do. Hello, little Tim Beeb. Tim Beeb Jr., one might say. Alright, slip these in here. And then we just gotta wait on the sturgeon for that. What else do we need? What can I... There's, there's night fishing bundle. It is night, so might as well go for... I think the eel and the bream I can get. I mean, obviously the bream I can get. I caught one earlier. Clint. But the eel, I think, is possible. Oh! <laughs> Getting these friendship points up. I imagine the community center in this run, compared to the no-level-up run, will probably be... 
it'll probably take I, I don't think it'll take longer but I think it'll be like hard at just as hard but in a different way if that makes sense eel requires rain okay good to know thank you all I've done very little fishing in the past like several years of my Stardew Valley experience because uh, fishing is usually not required for no level up stuff so these are things I do not know Cool little heart event. I always love watching the heart events, man. It's a it's a fun time. You think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Um, we respect Linus around here. Um, it's a shame for good food to go to waste. I'm pretty sure that's the one I always pick. I don't think it hugely matters. Like I said, I don't think there's like a make or break friendship points thing in this uh in this scene. This challenge is going to take two years IRL? I certainly hope not, but I imagine it'll take a few, a good few months at the very least. Depends how much goofing around I do, I suppose. Uh-oh. Caught in the act. Wait. He's, he's so menacing. Gus, he's just... <laughs> Come on, man. I know what you were doing, Linus, last summer. Gus, I hate to break it to you, but no one knows what a zucchini fritter is, so uh, you're breaking my immersion. You can't even grow zucchini in this game. What kind of, what kind of charlatan are you? All right, so we can't do eel, but we can do bream, so I might as well. How can you be intimidated by a man named by a man named Gus? What's wrong with Gus? <laughs> oh, jeez. You should upgrade your tools. I could use the cash. I will upgrade a few of my tools because I, there's no way around it. Actually, just recently discovered that uh, that the pickaxe upgrade, at least to steel, is also required for one of the golden walnuts on Ginger Island. So that's going to be that adds a little bit to our to our costs here. Otherwise, the only tool upgrade we require is a steel axe in order to access the secret woods. Excuse me. Gus gets zucchini from the Gatoro Empire. Smuggles it in through the traveling cart. I mean, I can't say I've never done the same. That's like the entire conceit of that uh, no level up run. Thank you for the $5 super chat, 69 Infiltrator. Uh, who is your least favorite character in Sardu? I don't generally like picking, like, least favorites. I like to, I prefer to focus on, uh, like, the positives versus the negatives whenever I get, whenever I get the opportunity. That said, there's something kind of, kind of off about Morris, if you ask me. Might be a controversial opinion. I know Morris is many people's favorite character. But uh, I'm just saying what everyone what everyone's secretly thinking. I know it. Why is Joja throwing filled soda cans in the river? I think what it must be is like maybe when people, because like a lot of people in town do shop at Joja Mart, like Jody and all that. So um, maybe like when they shop there, if you spend a certain amount, you're like get a free Joja Cola on the house, but nobody frickin' likes Joja Cola because it probably tastes like sewage. So they just throw the, the complimentary cans. They don't want to be, like, mean about it and, like, decline the, the girl at the till because she's just doing her job, right? She's just doing her job by giving you the freebie, and you don't want to be like, oh, I don't really want that, so can you, like, just give it to the next person or something? So they take it, but then they don't want to drink it, so they just throw it in the river for me to catch. And then give it to Sam, probably. I think I can quickly sneak this bream into the community center and then make it home in time.
Uh, night fishing over here. Bada boom. Do I like soda? I can get down with a Diet Coke from time to time. Not gonna lie. Other than that, ginger ale is pretty good. And then, uh, you know, tea and water. Nectar of the gods. Everyone should just give... Honestly, Joja... Like, I think Sam probably could, like, just, uh... You could really benefit from that Joja Cola vending machine you get when you complete... Not unless it can chop down that stump leading to the secret woods. Wouldn't that be handy? All right. Grab my watering can for the morning, and away we go. Actually, do I even need the watering can? That's a good question. It's gonna be clear and sunny all day. Level 3 foraging? That's pretty nice. What did I even forage today? What the heck? I guess I got those spring onions. That's about it. Uh-oh, small buffer. My stream's telling me excellent connection, so it's a dirty, rotten liar, I guess. Everything looks fine on my end, but... I did do... I, after I got my new setup uh, the other day, I did do a test stream. And I went for like an hour and a half with basically no problems, so I'm going to hope that that holds true uh, today. Spirits are somewhat annoyed. It's kind of annoying. No, I mean, <laughs> should go without saying, I suppose. Ooh, the egg festival. All right. Everyone get ready, we're going to smoke Abigail. She beat me on the first year in my no-level challenge. Never happening again, I'll tell you that much. Did the stutter really happen while I was talking about Joja? That's so funny. Joja really is the arch enemy of this entire playthrough. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Do I play any instruments? I did play tuba in band when I was in high school, mostly because like band was a requirement for uh, for a couple years anyway. And tuba seemed pretty easy, and it actually was like extremely easy because you never have to do any like solos or anything. Uh, let's go ahead. I do want to hit up the mines at some point. What's uh, but uh, but it's an it's a bad luck day. We gotta hit up the traveling cart. I won't forget that. Need rain for that. Can't do any of these. Actually, when does when does the octopus become available? Is that available in spring or is that just a is that a summer boy or an, a, a different season entirely? Possibly catfish. I need rain. Sunfish. Shad. Tiger trout. I think I need summer. Go check my luck. It was uh, it was like one higher than the than the worst luck. Sardine. So probably it's going to behoove me. I do also. I can also. Well, actually, I can't get a crab pot yet because I need an iron bar, right? Three iron bars. Summer and winter night market. Okay, for the for the uh, for the octopus. Look at Tim Beeb down here. <laughs> He's striking a movie pose. Um, I think. Despite our bad luck, I would like to hit up the mines. I don't know why. I just I just feel it. I just feel it today. Let's grab all the things we are liable to need. Go ahead and make our way down to the traveling cart first, lest I forget. Don't want to make it there just like at 8, 10 p.m. and she's just closing up or something. Jam Garbanzo, thank you again for the super chat. Would you say Gus is more cute or hot? I'm on the cute side, but I'd love a second opinion here. Gus is in another realm. I can't even, like, begin to equate his attractiveness, personally, because he is so far beyond the peak of human perfection that you can't really... It's impossible. It's impossible to make that kind of judgment call. Alright, what do we got here? Um... Nothing that I think is... Rec oh, goat milk. Goat milk is on our is on our list. I don't know if that's the right price though. Hold on, I have to check. I have to check my notes. That's why I have the checklist here. Checklist: goat milk. 
goat milk for 675. I need two of them. This is one. Okay. So we, we'll still need to find one more after this. This is the lowest possible price that you can get goat milk for, if my research is correct. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just, just to be sure, someone want to check the wiki for me on this to make sure that this, that goat milk at 675 is the actual lowest price. If it's like, if the wiki is wrong, then there's like nothing we can do, but I'm seeing some yeps. I don't know if people have already checked the wiki. Yes, 675 is the lowest. Milky boy. <laughs> All right. I mean, I have to, I have to trust in my... I have to trust in my checklist here. 675. I'm seeing I'm seeing some confirmation. Does it have to be a large goat milk? No, we actually need one goat milk specifically to ship it. That's the cruel irony of this traveling cart thing. Most of the stuff that we need to buy from the traveling cart is specifically for shipment. So we just buy the goat milk and sell it. Pro probably for a loss, I would imagine. 675 is lowest. Here we go. It's done. We have officially spent, what would that be, 435 gold? That's horrible math. Hold on. 735 gold. <laughs> All right, 735. That is correct. What is shipping in this game? It's just sending things off in the uh, shipping bin. You can see this is our item shipped farm and forge. We have to ship all of these on all three pages in order to achieve perfection. And goat milk is somewhere in here. It's probably like, can I even spot it? Just testing my acumen with identifying these silhouettes. It's not. It's not important. I'm gonna. I don't know if I should because I'm pretty sure that's just for shipping. Let me check my actual spreadsheet here. Goat milk shipping. Traveling cart. Two. Why do I need two? I need one for um to make goat cheese because I also need to ship that. That's right. 675 is less than 430. <laughs> yeah, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. All right. Well, that is uh that's one requirement in the books. Shout outs again to uh Blade for helping me find this uh the seed that would make such a challenge like this viable. This run just got spicy and milky. This really is like the first like big purchase. Because like bean starter, you can kind of purchase that any any old time. It might have been the first purchase, but it's certainly not the most like pivotal. Goat milk from the traveling cart is <laughs> I mean, pardon the pun, it's goaded. Let's go ahead and I should I should make like a special chest for like these uh special items. But for now we're just gonna go ahead and throw it next to our soggy newspapers. Sorry, I guess the game wanted to put it next to the broken CDs instead. My bad. Alright. Throw those in there. Be on our way. Can't you get a coconut for Haley's birthday? I don't... I mean, I could get one from the traveling cart, but we don't want to spend money. So that's kind of out of the question. Otherwise, the only other ways to get them are from like Ginger Island, the desert, or trash cans after you have finished the vault bundles. So that's, none of those are in the cards. Thank you for tuning in, Jam Garbanzo, and for the $5 Super Chat once more. You are, very, I, the, the support is greatly appreciated. I can never say that enough. Uh, have a good night though. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. The disrespect to the goat milk. You know what, I mean, have you ever had goat milk in real life? I haven't. I've had goat cheese, and it's actually really good. So I guess goat milk is probably totally fine. All right, let's go ahead. I forgot I had this chest here, by the way. Um, so I got stuff like I can like smelt and whatever. I need to bring all this to the. Why do I have like forage in here? That's weird. I need to bring all that to uh, to the farm at some point. Ooh, Dougie. Get ourselves a yam from this guy, maybe? That is one of our... Uh, that's something on our bucket list, quote-unquote. 
Or a cherry bomb, I guess that'll do. Hold on, got it intensely focused. This is the battle of a lifetime! How many more slimes do I need? Uh, not forging ahead. Initiation. Two more. Okay. Good to know. Slime, give us a pink cake today. Oh man, I wish it could. I'm pretty sure it's only the big slimes that have a chance to give a pink cake. But I would be very happy to be proven wrong by one of these little boys. How are you going to get to Ginger Island without paying the 1k fee from Willy? I am not. <laughs> you have to pay it at least once. Once I get there, uh, there are several several outs. Bas basically, I have to stay on Ginger Island after the, my first time going there until I either get the uh, ingredients and, um, and crafting recipe for the island warp totems or until I get enough to create the island obelisk. Until then, I will be stranded on Ginger Islands because I only want to pay that fee once. This is my personal pick for, like, worst enemy in the game, by the way. I hate these things so much. Alright, um, I'd probably rather that sap than this fiber. Get on out of here. How much cake do you need? I only need one cake. And it's for, for Haley. <laughs> so need is kind of a strong word. Uh, white algae, you can go ahead. Actually, maybe I'll just eat the white algae real quick. Why let such a phenomenal snack go to waste? It's a delicacy, I hear. Are you going to make a video on this after you're finished? Yes. Yes, I will. Because I know uh, asking anyone to like sit through however many hours of VODs to see the ultimate conclusion of this challenge is not a... <laughs> probably not for the best. How much money have you spent so far? I should probably put like a uh, like something on the screen that indicates that. I'll try and I'll try and put that figure that out for the next video. But as of right now, it is 735 gold. I did see the staircase back there. Don't worry, I'm just exploring. Not even gonna worry about these dudes. Yeah, yeah, I got lots of field snacks, don't worry about me. Why did I decide on a Stardew Valley Challenge video instead of something else? It was just like an idea that came to, to, to mind and like... I assume, I assume, by the way, you're talking about the no level challenge instead of the one I'm doing right now, but... Um, yeah, it came to mind, I saw no one else had really like done it or anything similar. So I just like went and did it. And that's more or less all there was to it. It was kind of unprecedented, obviously, because I was uh I'd never made anything quite to that caliber before. Or since, for as a matter of fact, but I'm working on it, trust me. I really need a better sword than this. Or a better weapon period, honestly. Alright, I need to clear out my inventory for this coal. How long are you going to stream tonight? Um, fingers crossed, three the three full hours that I that I wanted to uh, that I want to normally stream. So that would be another two hours and twenty minutes that we're going to go for because we just started not not that long ago. Oh, everyone's favorite fl floor layout. Shoutouts to the spiral layout. Pretty sure even Concerned Ape himself said that the <laughs> he's not a huge fan of this. 
there is something kind of gratifying about getting to the center, eventually. Spiral layout is dope. I don't know. You might be in a very small camp there. <laughs> oh, oh no. Hold on. I, I, man, I've been robbed. Okay. Um, I want to keep the sap for the sticky bundle. This doesn't work, does it? I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I need to try. Yeah, okay. Alright, I guess we're gonna go and find the staircase back here somewhere, hopefully. Man, I was actually looking forward to getting to the center of that spiral, just to, just to see. That's the only good thing about the spiral level, and you're gonna take that away from me, is getting to the center? I might not even get a staircase from these rocks. I might just be, like locked out on floor 19 here. I feel like 90% sure I can break it. I mean, I'll go back and try, but... They're breakable. You can break big rock in the mines. This is something I did not know. We will... We, I, I'm taking your word for this. I'm seeing it from more than one source, so... Oh, what do you know? This is def it's definitely breaking, so, I mean... Hey! You learn something new every day. I need to, I also- I do need to be careful not to act- like, to actually not die at any point here. Because money lost through death does count towards perfection. based on my own rules, so let's just not even concern ourselves with that. Shout out to clearly just a cheese nugget. One, two, three. Happy to be of service. Combat is your worst skill ever. I'm real bad at Stardew Valley combat. I'm not even going to lie. There is like a like a, like I talk about like dying and like that being like a potential way to lose money, and that is like a legitimate concern. It once we get into like the skull caverns and like the dangerous mines and all that stuff, like I'm pretty bad. I'm gonna need a lot of food. Okay, I'm seeing some good stuff there. Cave carrot. I don't need to worry about really. Mixed seeds I would definitely like, because they're really, like, one of our only sources of farming experience right now, which is so sad. Um, bug meat, you can get out of here. Topaz would be nice. I, give it, I haven't even given a quartz to Gunther yet. Uh, slime, that's fine. Alright, now we just gotta track down a staircase. Should be easy, he says while thinking back to the moment in time when he saw, oh, <laughs> when he saw a bad luck on TV, but you know what? I guess it pays to talk about it. All right, rusty sword, you're done. And we are done in the mines for today. Let me see what I can bring with me here. Um, the rest of that we will leave. Actually, were there mixed seeds in there? Hold on. No, there wasn't. There were not. Can you shout out Ross Mills, please? <laughs> oh my god. I'm not... <laughs> Hello, Ross. Hello, Justin. If you happen to be watching from work, that's... Uh, I didn't think you were serious about that, but... Yeah, hello. That's too funny. Oh, hello. Demetrius and Robin. No, Robin. There we go. He lives downstairs. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, they're made for each other. There's Sebastian right there. Not too big on festivals, but there is a festival coming up tomorrow, so. All right, no pink cake in there. Might as well get some good friendship points here.
Yeah, you can put chests, like, kind of all over the place. It's actually wild. Hello, Pierre. I always forget that you're there, because you blend right into the frickin' saloon. Friday is a great night to hit up the, uh, the saloon, clearly. By the way, people tell me that, uh, Fest that Fector's Challenge is the hardest thing in the game. So let's, like, do that really quick. We'll give it one try. <laughs> this is obviously not a requirement for per perfection in any capacity. But we're here. We're it's a Friday night, man. Friday night before the Egg Festival. We gotta have some fun with it. And, you know, I mean, odds are not great that I'll be able to just do this, like, Fector's Challenge in, like, one try. But what if? What if, right? What's Fector's Challenge? It is beating Journey of the Prairie King without dying. Beating Journey of the Prairie King on its own is, like, exceptionally hard. So, doing it without dying a single time is honestly just insane. The achievement is so insane. It's one of the, one of the ones I don't have, I'll tell you that much. And I'm, like, not good at this game. Like, this is the first level, so it's pretty easy. But, uh... But you're gonna find out very in very short order how much I suck at this. Might be a little light on the chat as well, by the way, just because I don't... Uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't have the capacity to really, like, look between this game and chat at the same time, and I don't think I can even pause this, so. Diagonal shooting is how you win. That is true. Or octo-directional shooting. Oh, there's an extra life over there. I, I don't really need it. <laughs> if I'm going for Fector's Challenge, right? I'm better than you? Oh, I mean, just you wait. We'll see how, how long that statement holds true. Get this out of here. Need to be careful not to stand anywhere near these doors. Okay, that's that was that was great. Great time for that. The laser focus is real. I, this is so funny that I'm even doing this. <laughs> like, like there's no point. Clearly, we're here for the price of perfection, but we're also here to have a good time. That's what I'm all about, is the entertainment value. And this is entertaining to me, so... <laughs> Hopefully you'll uh, bear with me. I won't, I won't make a habit of doing this. Don't you worry, but... At the very least, we got some sweet jams. Get some, like, music note emojis or something in chat. I love the music of Journey of the Prairie King. It is top tier Stardew Valley music. Top tier, like, game music, honestly. I get so nervous. I, I'm trying to look over at chat every now and again, but I just get so nervous every time. Alright, um, I only have enough for, like, the speed upgrade, which kind of sucks. <laughs> and we'll go for it, though. Look at those music notes. Oh yeah, we're jamming. We're jamming. We're jamming, friends. Jamming like Jam City over here. The artist formerly known as Jam City, I should say. Rest in peace. Gotta get these big boys out of here quick. Ooh, that's a fiver! Okay, good, good, good. See, this is where this is where my my weakness starts to show. <laughs> Certainly. All right, this guy is scaring me. Those spikes can be helpful sometimes. It. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, Fector's challenge is out the window. 
No money, you failed the whole run. There is, specifically, if you go read the rules and guidelines document right now, I'm not making this up, there's a clause that says, what counts as, like, uh, as spending money? One of the things that does not count as spending money is spending coins in Journey of the Prairie King, because I anticipated this exact situation. <laughs> Believe it or not, you can check me on this. I have the receipts. I'm looking to chat a little more now, now that there's a... Always gotta be prepared, don't you? Don't I know it, don't I know it. Get out of here, you little weirdo. It definitely, like, I always would rather have the damage upgrade more than anything from the from the first shop if you can get it because being able to kill like these little spike dudes in one hit is such a good quality of life thing before they can do that that sort of stuff that was a clutch get of that wheel by the way i don't know if this uh this <laughs> i guess it does hold true between screens that's good Getting Fector's challenge using as little money as possible in the next video. I mean, I guess if, if, if we're talking as little money in, like, in Journey of the Prairie King as possible, that sounds exceedingly difficult. But if we're just talking about regular Stardew Valley Gollers, then, uh, you know. <laughs> Did I, like, totally mess up, by the way? It is free to play this game. I didn't have to, like, there wasn't, like, a prompt that's, like, put in five gold to play Journey of the Prairie King or something. I really hope not. I'm, I'm like, 90% positive. Oh, get that. Pretty sure, yeah. Okay, thank goodness. Because I, I was, I was, I was doubting myself for a second there. I was like, did I really just, like, mess this, mess this freaking challenge up for, for a goofy little challenge? For a cheeky little Fester's Quest attempt. Fester's Quest is an NES game. It's not. That's, that's not the name of the achievement. Hold on. Get out! Get out of my face! Oh, but there's so many. <laughs> All right, you know what? Held this in reserve for a little while. Might as well. Oh, jeez! I he blindsided me. If you mess up, are you allowed to restart the day? Yes, that is uh, one of the rules. 100%. Because I don't trust myself to go through however many days this is going to take without messing up at least, like, one time. From the wiki. Hold on. Journey of the Prairie King is a Smash, Smash TV-style minigame that can be played on the arcade machines at the Startup Saloon for five gold. I'm going to hope you're trolling me. <laughs> The hat mouse wants to see me. Oh my gosh, don't. We, I can't think about the hat mouse. He's too cute. Okay, that's not fair. We do a little trolling around here. Quick little boss fight. Alright, one life to live, one love to give. I'm giving all my... This, this one's for you, Haley. Come on, buddy. There's no way out of it. There's no way out of it, you freaking cowboy. He's just standing there. Lucky me. We are, like... The fact that he's such groovy tunes is not fair. I'm I'm bound to like mess up my rhythm of my attacks or like my dodges because I'm bobbing my head along to the music so much. That's it's just it's an unfair tactic. It's like a, it, I'm pretty sure it's a war crime to have like this music this good in the middle of a battle. Someone get the Geneva Convention on this man. Oh, come on, come on, come on. 
What is the reward for completing the arcade game? You get an arcade machine that you can take home, so you can play more of it. <laughs> you think I'm joking. It's not a joke. I'm gonna be real, I did not expect to beat the first boss. Look at this little little weirdo. Red panda or something. I don't even know what that guy is. This joke has gone on longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I, I actually anticipated dying like very early on in this uh, in this game. But now that we're in World 2, it's 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 like all but inevitable, especially because I have like no damage upgrades. So all these guys are taking so much extra damage. Or so many extra hits, I should say. There's actually just no shot. <laughs> You're really, you, like, a damage upgrade is pretty much mandatory by this point in the game. And I just got screwed on my gold, so. Excuse me. Sir. Sir! Use it! <laughs> Get out of here, you weird little toads. I've been conditioned by Mario to think that green mushrooms are a good thing. My whole life is a lie. Getting a little stingy with the power-ups, aren't you, game? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. At least those guys are slow. Gotta really prioritize the speedy boys. But there's so many of these guys now. Oh, the butterflies! Okay. Uh, <laughs> not loving this. You always hate when you have to go like near one of the exits because someone can just like spawn on top of you. I would say that's like cheap game design, but it's kind of par for the course in these like retro style games, huh? This is where I meet my maker, or not. I'm actually cracked. Turns out I'm cracked. This is my damage upgrade! <laughs> no! I purposely like avoided one of those gold too, because I'm like, there's no way I'm going for that, but all right. There's actually no shot. So. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's about right. Okay, well. All right, we're going to quit that. I'm paranoid. I need to check how much... Did I spend any gold on that? So 39.15 plus 500 for my initial starting. It's 44.15 minus 780. We're good. It's fine. That's 735. An effort was made. No one tell Wallagug. What is this game called? This one's called Stardew Valley. But the one I was just playing in Stardew Valley is Journey of the Prairie King. Lost 14 coins. Time to restart the day. Rip. So true. Alright. Topaz don't need. The rest of this we're keeping. We're actually going to plant this mixed seed real quick. Make sure to water it as well. Up to 12 geodes, none of which we can open until we get our geode crusher, so. Yay for that. I guess I should craft some furnaces, huh? Probably a good, a decent idea. What do I need for a furnace again? I, like, never use these things in my no-level-up run. Uh, let's see. I think three is fine for now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's all, it's literally all I can make. I forgot how much they cost, but let's go ahead and just like plop these down. I'm going to, I'll, I'll fix like my organizational system later at a later date. For now, I'm not too fussed about it. All right. Go ahead and put all this away. I'll keep my scythe maybe. I don't, need, I don't need the scythe for anything as far as I can remember. What I'll probably do tomorrow, I'll get my axe ready. I'll just go around and like chop wood until the egg festival begins. I could also go to... I guess I could go like fishing or something. 
But I feel like I, I want to try and get more sap for the sticky bundle. How you doing, Timby? And, uh, that's all she wrote, huh? Use a furnace to smelt your first copper bar? Already one step ahead of you. I want to make sure I still have this goat milk here, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm okay to sell it, because it's just for shipping, but I'm not going to risk it yet. Can you shout out Chuedel Eh? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Eh Echofor or Echo Echofor and Saurai's Ronin. Definitely not the first Google search for hardest name pr to pronounce. You, <laughs> you sneaky! Oh my goodness! If you get the ribbon from the hat mess, we can just ignore you spent the money you spent on it. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could. It's getting late. What do you mean? It's 6 a.m. I didn't stay up all night, did I? Gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor, so I could check out the mines for a little bit. There we go. What time does the egg festival end? Like, I always, like, whenever there's a festival day, I usually just go right when it opens, but I know that, like, wastes time. Like, what's the latest I can go to the Egg Festival and still, like, be there? Was it, like, 2 p.m. or something? Actually, it might actually just be in my mail here, right? At 2 p.m. Okay, yeah. There we go. Fourteen hundred two p.m. Yeah, okay. I pronounced, I pronounced them wrong? I mean, what do you expect from me? I tried my best. You can indeed check your mail. It's one of those things that uh, not everyone might know. I see straw babies, but uh, I think I think that means strawberries. And yes, I do need. I do need. That's actually going to be another cost today. I need to buy one strawberry seed. I'm pretty sure because I need to ship a strawberry at some point. Let me double check my wiki, or not, not my, my, yeah, my wiki. No, my, uh, thing here. Strawberry seeds. I need one from the Egg Festival, yes. Men checking the mail you've already gotten. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I got you on that. I don't know if someone, people in chat were confused, but. There's probably more productive use of my day than, like, chopping a bunch of trees, but... That sap is going to be a real pain in the neck, potentially. I don't, although I'm already up to like 200 plus, right? So maybe it's not going to be that bad. It's just like 500 seems like such a lofty goal. Couldn't you get a strawberry from the tra trash can? You could in versions 1.3 and earlier. For some reason, that got removed. You can, uh, you can check the wiki on that one. Quote me on it. Let me grab my scythe so I can actually clear some of this fiber out, too. Why 500 sap? Because we have the, uh, where is it? It's probably in the crafts room, right? Sticky bundle. 500 sap. It is one of our remix bundles. Thankfully, one of the easier ones as far as, like, uh... Minimum costs, anyway. Because obviously you can get a lot of sap just for free. Get some more mixed seeds while we're out here, too. Quid and Hoyt. The Egg Festival has begun, alright. No one let me, like, miss the Egg Festival. I might get so enamored chopping trees and looking at chat that I just, like, totally, like, look up and see, like, oh, it's, like, 150 and I can't possibly make it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aladdin, for uh, checking out the video and for coming to the stream as well. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I think that's why a majority of people are probably here, actually, because I think uh, <laughs> the vast majority of people on my channel nowadays know me. Pretty much exclusively from that video, from the No Level Up Challenge, which I'm not complaining about. It's one of my uh, proudest creations, I would say. What am I doing? I was looking at Chad as the answer. If 
I eat 500 sap, you'll allow me to bring... Ooh, first supply crate! You'll allow me to buy stuff from the hat most. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, Karita. Karita Hearts. Um, but first supply crate? It's a real-life loot box? What do you guys think? What, what, what's, what's the bets on what's going to be in here? I could do with some mixed seeds. I honestly don't know much more about what else can be in here. We can't get wheat flour or sugar until we get our first house upgrade, so those are out of the question. Oh, man. Screenshot. Photo op time. Uh, happy, happy note. Thinking wood. We're thinking Joja. Joja Eel. Quality retaining soil. Quality fertilizer. I'm so excited. Survival burger. Could be. Could be. Three, two, one. I thought, I thought I only need one hit. Mix seeds! Oh. Legendary. Legendary haul. Normally you'd be so disappointed to see that. Thank you for the super chat, by the way, Dr. Clovis. That supply crate was for you. We love our mixed seeds in this house. It's like that meme, like... <laughs> Can't we just go buy crops from Pierre? We have crops from Pierre at home. Crops from Pierre at home. How many views did the video have before it blew up? It had um, around, when, it, when I first noticed it start blowing up, it had around 2,200 views, I think. Something like that. All right, I'm running low on energy and on time. So I think let's clear this fiber out of here and be on our way to that egg festival. What do you say? I uh, got enough for some more chests, which is good, too. All right. Let's knock this out of the park, folks. I am very excited. I don't have much of a competitive spirit. I'm not going to lie. I'm not I'm not a huge competitive uh, dude, but... This egg festival is something different. All right, Pierre, you're really going to make me do it, huh? This is the real star of the show at the egg festival, these strawberry seeds. Nothing else here we have to buy, obviously. It's all just, like, law norm and some stuff. Strawberry seeds. Ooh, it hurts. It hurts. 835 gold. We're gonna break that thousand gold limit soon. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I This is something I've always been confused on. But apparently I've heard from various sources that you don't get friendship points from talking to people at festivals. Is that true? I was always under the impression that like this was the best place to earn friendship points because you can just like talk to everybody and there's like no time limit. But I've heard in various places that like it doesn't work. <laughs> that is false. No. Okay, I mean, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad I'm not just wait. I haven't just been wasting all this time talking to these people. I mean, they 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 have some interesting dialogue for sure, but you know, it's a lot of time to invest <laughs> to to just get nothing out of it as far as like friendship points go, as part of material benefits. The wiki says you do get points. Okay, that's all the confirmation I need. The wiki is sacred. Hello, Haley. How are you doing this fine day? Tips Fedora. Time is frozen, so might as well talk to everyone. Absolutely true. There's no one like chilling like way over here or anything, I don't think. I think that's pretty much everybody. If not, oh well. We'll see him around town anyway. Alright. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt yet? Place your bets, folks. Place your bets. You know what? It's poll time. Create a poll. Who will win the egg hunt? Is it going to be Chloe? Or is it going to be Abigail? Uh, ask your community. 
There you go. I've never done this before. Can you tell? Alright. Poll is in chat. Who will win the egg hunt? Get your bets in now, folks. Get it in while the while the betting is hot. I'm seeing... Oh. There's some dissent. There's some disagreement here. I see 58% for Chloe. Oh my goodness. This is going to be... Inter it's going to be interesting. There's faith. There's decent amount of faith in Chloe, but Abigail, you know what? She is. She is. She's probably won this like ten years running at this point. Obviously, it's Jas. <laughs> you know, Jas and Vincent. I respect the hustle, Maru too. But uh, they just can't hold a candle to Abigail. I'm sorry. All right, the bets are in. Sixty percent say that Chloe will win to end this poll. Let's see. Uh, excuse me. Yes, let's start. How cracked is Chloe at hunting eggs? 59% to 40%. The 1%... The one percenters got Jass. They got Jass. They snuck a Jass vote in there somewhere. Alright, time, time for the highlight of today's festivities. The annual spring egg hunt. So happy. Oh, Sam does this too. I forgot about that guy. All right. Oof. Got to rub my hands together real quick. Get my keyboarding fingers ready. This one's for Charlie Barley. Let's do it. Abigail, don't be sniping my eggs. Don't be, don't you dare. I don't know, like, what the best route is for this. I think I'm gonna be okay. Oh, I see an egg. Come on. There's, oh, there's one up here. I'm so laser focused, I'm not even looking at chat. Ten. I think that might be enough, but I, I'm not positive. Get the one in the back of the truck. Get the one in the truck. Please. One more. Okay, we might, we might be able to sneak one more. One more. Lucky number 13. Somewhere up here. Somewhere up here. Uh, on the coast. Oh, no. Shino Tenshi, thank you for the $5 super chat. You've been loving my personality since I found you. I'm glad. That's, that's a very, uh, very fulfilling sentiment to hear. Look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the Gem Sea. Chuckle. I'm gonna leave this one here for the awkward energy that it emanates. <laughs> Charlie, you were here to see it! Oh my goodness. I hope I made you proud. Yeah, there we go. Ultimate plot tips would have been if I had, like, secretly installed a mod that made it so you needed, like, 15 eggs to win the egg hunt. Something to, something to think on for next time. How does this look? Ooh. Little short hair Chloe action going on here. I don't mind it, honestly. I've grown so used to seeing her with long hair, but the short hair is... You kinda, I'm kind of digging it. We'll rock it for a little bit. How long does this take to grow? Eight days? All right. As long as I don't forget to water, it'll be good. Uh, I can go chop down one more tree. Do the event in multiplayer? <laughs> Just bring in one person for multiplayer for every egg festival. Be a good time. Yo, Zelos, I see you in here too. I don't know how long you've been here, but uh, welcome. Long-time fan of the channel. Long-time fan and friend, I might say. Alright, uh, yeah, we're probably good there. Let's go ahead and dump this and dump this. Keep my hoe. You're calling this game Hat Valley? <laughs> I mean, we do have that nice little hat there. All right. Go to sleep for the night. Yes. 
Go to the mine and give her that daffodil. You talking about Haley? We do. I, I want to see if I can find a gold a gold star daffodil for Haley. Coleslaw, by the way. One more recipe in the books. Spirits are somewhat annoyed. You hate to see it. Partially cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. Oh no, my allergies. I actually don't have allergies. I feel like I'm very lucky in that regard. I'm not, uh... That I know of, I should say. I'm not allergic to anything. I know the majority of people are not so lucky. From my personal experience, anyway. Look at this scuffed farm setup. That's what you get when you can only use mixed seeds, though. Ooh, chicken statue! You know what? I should take, like, some of this stuff to Gunther. Probably. Do I have a gold star daffodil ready? I don't. Okay. Uh, how are you getting to Calico Desert? We will build an obelisk at some point. Alright. Store up more parsnips. Should I plant these cauliflower seeds? I feel like I should still just hold on to them. I don't know exactly why, but something in my gut tells me to hold on to those for now. What are the quality crops? Five quality parsnips, blueberries, yams. How many quality? I still only have the one quality parsnip. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one, especially like because it's so much of it is based on mixed seeds and stuff. For now, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the far. You know what? I should bring my scythe with me, maybe. I should bring some kind of tools with me so I'm not just wandering around with a freaking watering can. What's, th what's that going to do for me? It's not like I'm going to the volcano today. Timbeeb, I hear you barking over here. Sorry. Didn't mean to neglect you for so long. Not getting to the desert until the obelisk. Yeah, it's kind of a... <laughs> it's a roundabout way of doing it. And I'm excited to see how it, how it goes. Alright, bamboo pole maybe? Because it was bad luck day. We'll bring these to Gunther. Go check out the traveling carts. Check out... I'm just gonna grab my scythe because I want to check out that side of the beach farm for supply crates. Plant the spring seeds. Did I get spring seeds? I, I guess I do have spring seeds from like the spring foraging bundle, huh? That's probably a good idea to plant the spring seeds. But I've heard, who who is it that made a video on that uh, not too long ago? That like, a, like there's like a money making method where you like create um, tea saplings out of wild seeds. Was that Ring Queen that did that? It might be. Shoutouts to Ring Queen, by the way. She just did her first live stream not that long ago. I, I stopped in for a little bit. It was pretty sweet. Highly recommended uh, YouTuber. Haley's birthday is today. We're, we're on the hunt for a uh, gold star daffodil, because I think that's the best we're going to be able to reasonably do. But first. But first. Test our luck. All right. None of these. Yeah, we, we do need flower, like, to buy flower seeds at some point, but we'll get them from Pierre's for much cheaper. Rare seed for a thousand? No, thank you. I forgot to stop at the wizards last time I was over here. A few people have shown that off. The only I, I only watched that uh I only watched one video recently on it, on the money making strategy involving tea saplings. Alright, weirdo. I'm out of here. Ooh. Ew, it smells. What do you expect? It's sewage. Have I made a Discord yet? I have not. It's something uh, on the platter to be done. We got a little Sherlock Jass over here. Look at that little finger point. She's adorable, man. Get some heart emojis for Jass, just for being so cute. Vincent, too. Why not? They can share them. Of 
Crobus. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? Hearts for Crobus, too. Why not? He's just as much a part of this as anybody else. Main strategy behind getting money for the obelisks in the golden clock? Still no clue. <laughs> we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Can I get a living hat, please? Living hat, real quick. All right. Haley doesn't like horseradishes, but we'll pick it up. I want a daffodil. Hat mouse? Mm. I was tempted for a second. I was tempted to go buy his entire stock. But I managed to resist. I managed to resist. Well, you need to buy a rare seed eventually? Yes, but uh, she sells them for 600 gold occasionally. So that's what we're going to hold out for. We're going to hold out for a hero at the end of the night. It's got to be strong, and it's got to be fast, and it's got to be uh, 600 gold or less. Bring coins. Chloe poke. The poke is always what gets me with that hat mouse. He's so freaking cute. How many streams do I expect this challenge to take? Very good question. Have no idea. <laughs> oh, oh, she almost caught me digging through her garbage. That would have been very awkward on her birthday. My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. I feel that. Yo, Red Hawk 2 Thank you for the uh, super chat. Hearts for Krobus and hearts for me. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Oh, poor Penny. All right, let's head up near the fountain. This is where this is where Haley's going. Can I like grab a daffodil from up here before she sees? I don't think so. Shoot. We're not going to get our gold star daffodil. I should have held on to a higher quality one. I should have I should have foreseen this. Is there a way to get obelisks without the million gold? Not as far as I know. Not unless uh, Concerned Ape ushers out a hotfix for this. Uh, that lets you like trade in, I don't know, like 999 iridium <laughs> or something crazy. Or like 999 prismatic shards. That's probably not even that crazy. Wizard is actually the greediest character. He is the main source of, uh, like, he's, like, by far the main source of the expenditures on this run. By an astronomical amount. All right, all right. Haley, I found this special just for you. I hope you like it. Do you think she'll like it, guys? I hope so. I'm so nervous. I did. I'm. Mean, she's impressed. <laughs> That's all I could hope for. That's all I could hope for. My heart goes pitter patter. Hello, Abigail. I didn't even listen to a word you said. So, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Do I get a Junimo hut at any point? No. Junimo huts are not required for perfection, so. You tweeted me a clip. I will check out this clip after the uh, stream, CD Random. Thank you. Simp and proud, yes. All right, um... Oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me, don't do it to me, game. It's only a normal quality. Crisis averted, crisis averted. My clay! Oh. I was about to, I was about to freak out. I was gonna restart the day. If that was, if that was a gold star. I wouldn't actually, but unless.
What do we got here? Looking for a ripe green bean. Leia, green beans are at a premium. Have you not heard me talk about bean starters before? I'm sorry. We'll accept it, because why not? But there's like no chance for, that she's ever getting that green bean, I gotta say. I gotta tell you. Estimated cost in the description, that is correct. There is a spreadsheet down there. Will I do be, be doing Community Center or Joja? Um, Community Center, because you have to pay a lot, a lot more for Joja. But that does bring up an interesting point of order. For those who have done JoJo or are familiar enough with it, um, well, let me start. The community center, the main cost with the community center comes from buying the vault bundles. Uh, I don't really need to keep that. I don't need to keep a lot of this stuff. Probably it'll end up being sold anyway, but for now it's fine. The main cost comes from the vault bundles with 42,500 gold going to the vault. With JoJo, you get the bus repair, which is... Um, what the vault bundles unlock, you can buy the bus repair for 40,000 gold, which is cheaper than the vault bundles. The caveat comes in that in order to access the Joja memberships at all, or the Joja community development form at all, you need to buy the membership for 5,000 gold. So on the whole, it is a little bit more expensive to go Joja for that. But otherwise, if it was only the cost for the bus repair, you could like circumvent the vault and go Joja at the last second. Which would be a very, a very cheeky little strategy. Thank you for the plug, CD Random. You're plugging me better than I plug myself. All right, what was I gonna do with the rest of my day here? You know, I might as well go to go enter the Adventurers Guild. Just get that one out of the way, and then maybe we'll just go like fishing or something for the last little bit. I didn't check up here for forgeables. Don't show me a daffodil. Don't show me a gold star daffodil. I'll never forgive you. What are we up to? Oh, we need to get what? Four hearts. Four hearts for um for the flower dance to be up to be a possibility. Is that correct? For her to like not be like you? No. Yeah, four hearts. Okay. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be tight. We might be able to do it. What do you mean by perfection? There is a uh, there's a document called like it's like a rules and guidelines document for the challenge that goes over exactly what perfection is. Also in the description below. Part of perfection includes all this as well. So we're gonna have to. Thankfully, like none of this is gonna cost like anything. But most like forgettable Stardew NPC right here potentially. At least the most forgettable one with an actual portrait potentially probably. Also not gonna be able to buy any of this, obviously, so we'll have to <laughs> have to go without. But there are some there are like plenty of decent enough weapons and stuff that we can get outside of that, so I'm not too worried. I'll fish for a little bit. Fishing fishing I like fishing because it gives me a good chance to like look over a chat. How am I going to deal with the boat fare for the island? I will pay it once to get there, and then gather all the resources I need for either a warp totem, like to be able to craft warp totems, or to build the island obelisk on my first trip there. So that way I only have to pay one time. Good question, though. Thank you, Pyrus. Oh, jeez. Fishing is so chill. Largemouth bass. Ooh, that's a goalie, too. Gotta respect it. Now is your chance to be noticed? Yes, Louis. Or Luis. However you pronounce that. If you go mine delving, you might get a coffee bean or an ancient seed. I didn't check my luck today, or at least if I did, I don't remember what it was. But I will need to, like, definitely go in for coffee beans and ancient seeds and stuff. That is going to be huge when it comes to farming XP. Well, 
What's your favorite Zelda game and why is it Twilight Princess? <laughs> Twilight Princess is kind of cracked. It's very underrated in my opinion a lot of the time. But favorite Zelda game might be Wind Waker. Not gonna lie, huge huge portion of that is mine is the nostalgia glasses. I grew up with the GameCube. It was like a pivotal part of my childhood. I'm gonna plan on surviving the mines without equipment. We'll find a way. Nature finds a way. You know, I never actually played the uh, the HD remake of Wind Waker on, on the Wii U, though. It's been on, like, my mind for a very long time, but it's just never, uh, never come up. No! <laughs> the rare frozen geode! This thing is a frickin' specter. It's haunted me, like, ever since my frickin' no-level-up challenge. I've seen more of these in fishing treasures than any- than- than ever before, I swear to god. And there's two of them to lay it on thick, too. The rare frozen geode, spoken of only in legends. Where am I from? Because my accent, man. I am from, uh, I'm born and raised. Well, technically not born and raised in, uh, in Alberta, Canada. I was technically born in Ontario. Then I moved out here when I was, like, two, so... Remember that time you missed the heart container in the Wind Waker in the first dungeon for like 50 episodes? Yep. <laughs> Long time fan in Fernape. Showing his uh his knowledge of the true Argon Matrix lore. That is a callback and a half. I am Canadian. Shout out to all my fellow Canucks in chat. Oh, bullhead. Not bad. Let's sneak in one more little cast here. Mr. Chi is a frozen geode in disguise. <laughs> the ultimate plot twist. Did I play Animal Crossing on GameCube? No, my first experience with Animal Crossing was actually uh, City Folk for the Wii. Which I don't know what the, like, critical consensus on that game is, but I had a lot of fun with it. Who's your least favorite villager? Ooh. You got me in a, in a position here, because before I was asked who's my least favorite character, and that was easy, that's Morris. Morris doesn't count as a villager, though. You can't befriend him. My least favorite villager? I don't know if I have a least favorite. Like I said, I like to focus on the good as much as possible. I'm a very optimistic individual. And no one really like rubs me the wrong way entirely in this uh from all, out of all the villagers, so I'm gonna have to gonna have to veto that question. <laughs> I love them all. Oh my goodness, Dr. Clovis dropping the $10 super chat. Would you consider putting a random scarecrow or something hiding out in the corner behind the farmhouse for the rest of the playthrough for no reason at all? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I could I could do that. Just a random scarecrow. Maybe we'll put one we'll do that with like one of the rare crows maybe. Although I might forget by that time. Let's uh Hold on. What do I need? I need wood, I think. Might, yeah, I might forget by that time. So let's just put a, a normal scarecrow out there for now. And then we'll see about uh, replacing it with a with a rare crow or something later on. 
All right, behind the farmhouse, you said. There's no spot to put him behind the farmhouse here. Curse these... Curse these high tides! All right, up in the corner somewhere. We'll figure it out in the morning, I think. Because right now, I need to... I need to hit, head to bed. Sell all this. Make a shrine to Lewis and never address in the video that eventually comes out. <laughs> that would be uh, the ultimate in-joke. Oh my gosh, Tim Beeb! He's on our bed! That's the cutest thing he did a little Z when I did my heart. My my actual heart. Oh my god, dude. Uh, weather report. Okay. So precious, so precious! Level 4 fishing. New crafting recipe for the recycling machine. Don't mind if I do. What do my parents think of my channel? They are 100% supportive, which I am uh, very grateful for, because obviously not everyone can have that. All right, so we need we do need one iron bar for a recycling machine, so that is a good thing to invest in at some point. Here's our neutral. That's good enough for me. Salmonberry season. Okay, okay, good investment. Clear and sunny all day. I could use I could use a little rain. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like the most urgent thing. But you know, it'd be nice to not have to water things. Most crops only grow in one season. Thank you, Granny Evelyn. You're like the only person who's not using this mail to like solicit me. It's like, hey, come buy a well from my carpentry shop. <laughs> or something like that. You know, until you do a run like this, you don't realize how many people in the game like ask you for money. Like you'll just be talking to Clint and he'll be like, hey, upgrade your tools, you nerd. And be like, Clint! You can't call- you can't say that on television! Alright, Scarecrow? Scarecrow, buddy? Right... Oh, I can't put him there? I guess we'll- that'll have to do. <laughs> He's so sneaky! Look at this guy! Look at this little- this one's just for you, chat. Don't tell anyone else. <laughs> so sneaky up there. Hatmouse does not scam you. Hatmouse is, uh... is based. He gives you every bang for your buck. Name for him? I'll leave that up to chat. What's his name? I mean, that's, we can't we can't name him Tim Beeb. We've named too many things Tim Beeb so far. All right, uh, I'm feeling a mines trip today, probably. A green bean is not ripe, so this delivery for Leia is definitely not happening. Crayon Timbeeb the second. <laughs> Just keep naming things that iteration of Timbeeb. Oh, let's uh, let's go look for supply crate real quick. Also, this is nice. Do you see this little cute freaking dog? Why is he so cute? He's so. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you, Timbeeb. I love him so much. I've never loved a dog more in my life, except for my real-life dog that we had for 15 years. His name was Teddy. Thank you, Dr. Clovis, for the $2 super chat. Greg the Garlic Farmer. You know what? I mean, you're the, you're the one who uh, who asked for that in the first place, if, if memory serves. We, we shall call... Forevermore shall this scarecrow be known as Greg the Garlic Farmer. Shoutouts to Greg. Alright. What was I even doing? I got so I got so bamboozled by Tim Beep's cuteness. <laughs> he was playing in the patch of grass. I know! He's amazing. Look at what where was all this the other day? Did I just like not come through here at all? Because I feel like I would have picked these up. Oh my lud oh my ludness is what I was about to say. Launch these for reasons that will become clear later. 
Wasn't you can't do that on television, a Canadian TV show? Is that where I got it from? It's all that's that's just the phrase that's been stuck in my head for the better part of like 18 years or something. Whose birthdays do we have coming up? Oh geez. I had a bit of a lag spike in the game for a second there. Uh Pam. We can't buy beer for Pam because that's a cost, obviously. What's a what's a good gift for Pam on her birthday? And you know what? We'll look ahead to Shane too. See if we are there. Is there any like loved gifts that are like possible to get? While while I wait for some answers, potentially I'll I'll go digging through the trash. I guess. Ooh. Free newspaper. Don't mind if I do. Man's got his football at all times. Parsnip, parsnip for Pam. You got that. Okay, that's that's right. Salmonberry for Shane. I feel like you might be trolling me. Give her gold parsnip, but I gotta save the gold parsnip for the quality crops bundle. Like, uh, look, I like Pam, but uh, might be a little much. I gave him. <laughs> I was supposed to give him the leak, not the freaking daffodil. I guess Haley's getting a leak. No, she probably hates leaks, so <laughs> let's, let's not do that. <laughs> oh, Mayor Lewis. I don't know, a flower for Shane? Go to space and get a space bee? A space beer. <laughs> I saw space bee. I was very confused for a second. Um, it's okay. We can just we can give Kate Haley her gift on another day. Hello, Leia. I feel like I hardly ever see you. No love gifts I can get for Shane. That's a shame. Shame, Shane. Uh, is Haley not out here yet? Or am I crazy? She not head out until like noon or something. This is where she comes on Mondays, I'm pretty sure. There you go. There you are. Now it's so small it sucks. I mean, I was like <laughs> I'm I'm a huge fan of small town life, and I make no secret of that. I've never actually like lived in a big city proper, but the but anytime I like have to go to a big city. It's just the worst, dude. I'm such like, I don't know, like, I'm less of an introvert than I used to be. But, man, like, I get so drained so fast just from the stress of, like, the traffic and the crowds and stuff and malls. It's like, it's actually just, like, unbearable. <laughs> Salmon berries for the road. Are you giving the leak to George? That was the plan. Then I gave him a freaking daffodil by mistake. He was all like, thanks, and smiled, but I know he didn't mean it in his heart of hearts. George is a, like... He's a stalwart monolith that the and the only way to pierce his rocky exterior is this beautiful little white uh, root vegetable here. And I went and messed it up. I spent a long time on this floor, by the way, off screen on floor 20 of the mines. Hey, rice shoots. That's cool. Because this is an ideal place to farm for hardwood. And in the no level up challenge, hardwood is, uh, <laughs> is... I didn't I didn't do it in the no level challenge, it's part of like a video that I'm working on. But uh, that's a secret just for you. Ah, oh, shoot. Um, fiber can get trashed, I guess. I don't even know if I really need quartz, but it doesn't hurt to have it. You 
You done messed up, Argon? Oh no. <laughs> Whenever I see a chat message like that in all caps, Salem. I need to know that you're that you're that you're joshing me. Did I do something silly? <laughs> or is it just that I gave the, the dandelion or the daffodil to, to George? That's probably it. I thought it was like mate wait, did I buy something by mistake? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something else? Uh Bug me, don't need that. I want the sap, man. That's the lesser known uh sequel to the song Scatman. Sapman. Cause I'm a sap man. Love that co this copper node though. Copper vein, I suppose, would be the way to say it. Ooh. Do you have a reliable way to get a topaz? Uh, really just gotta check the, like, first, what is it, like, 40 floors of the mines. Or, like, topaz nodes and stuff. They're not super hard to come by. Not in my experience, anyway. I'm pretty sure we've already had two in this playthrough alone. Isn't too late for rice, is it? Oh, uh, let's see. Plant these in the spring takes eight days to mature. No, we got plenty of time for that. Couldn't play this game without upgrading the backpack. It's going to be like a first for me. Although technically in the no level up challenge, I didn't upgrade the backpack for a very long time. I did end up upgrading it eventually, but I didn't need it for most of the t most of that experience. Just uh, munch on these real quick. Are you going to use external tools to plan a geode opening route? Since that's just RNG. Uh, no, because thankfully. Geodes, we can just open with a geode crusher once we have access to that, and that does not cost money. So we can avoid that grind entirely, thankfully. Did I already find the staircase? Am I just being stupid? I did. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I feel like I'm missing something here. feeling a vibe coming on here. Hold on for a second. Cuz I was I remember I was like watching uh like mine mining something about mining brings out like banter in me. It brings out like memories of things. And the memory it's brought upon me today at this moment. Come sit around the fire while I regale you with this with this tale. Cuz I was watching Charlie's uh it was, I believe it was in her was that in her Stardew Valley extended where she was like going through the mines and like telling a story about Harry Potter and stuff. I think so. Earth crystal, please. Oh, jeez. Anyway, um, I, I, I was when I when I heard that story. You know what? Screw this course. When I heard that story, I was like, I have a Harry Potter story too. It was um, it was the, I don't know what I don't know why I'm even telling this. It's like nothing nothing brought it up, but. It was when the fifth book came out, The Order of the Phoenix. My family went to the uh, went to like a chapters for like a like a pre-release sort of thing. So like we could get like the book early, and uh, and my sisters and I were we were very big fans of Harry Potter, as you should be, because um, it's very it's a very good series. Hold on, I'm trying to inventory manage and tell a, a compelling anecdote at the same time, and it's not working out for me. Screw this stone, honestly. I think the forest sword is better, right? Compared to... Yeah, okay. My sister and I are very big fans of Harry Potter. And we we had, like, these, uh... We had gone as, like, Harry Potter characters for, like, uh... Halloween at one point in the past, so we had, like, these Harry Potter robes, right? And we just, like... They are just, like, Gryffindor robes or whatever. So we wore those to the to the to the pre-release of the book, just for fun. 
when we got there, we found out that there was like a costume contest. And like whoever won the costume contest would be like, um, would be put in like the local newspaper and get like free copies of the book and whatever. It was, it was a whole big thing. It was awesome. Um, but we were like, oh, we just like showed up in our like Gryffindor robes. So we didn't even really try to do a costume. So we're not going to like worry about that at all. Uh, turns out, because <laughs> my sister and I both have red hair, we won that costume contest on the back of just having red hair alone. Because we just looked like Ron and Ginny Weasley naturally, apparently. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of, it, uh, it's, it kind of felt like a stereotype that I fell into. I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to complain necessarily because it's, uh, <laughs> I get a free book and I get in the newspaper. But it was just kind of like so silly that, I, that, that we, didn't, we didn't even have to try. We did not have to try to win that costume contest. We're just literally gingers that showed up <laughs> to a Harry Potter event. And that was all it took. That was all it took. I was not I was in a Harry Potter costume contest too. But like unintentionally. I didn't mean to do it. I wonder if we still have that newspaper clipping somewhere. I, I, if, if I have it, I'll like send, I'll like scan it and like tweet it out or something. Cause it, that's too good. It was so funny. What can I take with me back to the... <laughs> I just love that so much. Let's leave these for like food pur purposes, maybe. Uh, bring that... Why do we have a soggy newspaper in here? Bring that, that back for silk. What page was I in the newspaper? I think we were page like two or three. It was like pretty close to, to the beginning. You're a ginger, you instantly win any costume contest. I mean, if one of the characters in question is uh, is potentially ginger. You're also a Harry Potter costume contest champion. I remember that. That's what that's what sparked my uh That's what sparked my You know what? Screw this soggy newspaper. We don't actually need it. I'd rather have the salmon berries. That's what sparked my memory, because I remember here remember you talking about that in your uh your video. Ooh, look at this little salmon berry, little, little pumpkin patch kind of thing going on here. I guess not a pumpkin patch, just a berry patch. Very, very small pumpkins. Small pumpkins that come in clusters and are red. You know, everyone's favorite kind of pumpkins. Okay. We can plant the mixed seeds. That's no problem. Uh, I should also plant the rice shoots. Let's not forget that. So mix seeds, mix seeds. Copper, copper, copper. Rice, I have to, I have to plant you along like the water, right? Grows faster. It grows faster if planted near a body of water. You know what? Might as well. We got this. We got a beach farm going on up here. How close can I like hoe? Is that really the closest I can get? Guess so. All right. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as close to a body of water, but uh, here it is. Go grab my watering can. Do you know what your boiler room is yet? I don't think so. I don't think I have the boiler room unlocked. Yeah, I just have these first three still. <laughs> Keep the amethyst for now. Geode. 16 geodes total. Keep them counting. I was I going to grab watering can? That's right. Oh, oh god, I can't tell what's watered and what's not here. I think that looks right. There's like a very slight change in the in the composition. You know what? The scarecrow is not going to reach this far, is it? I just realized that. Max levels is part of perfection. Yes, that's that is the 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 reason I can't do like no level up perfection is because specifically because of that requirement. Thank you for that, Blade. Also, welcome, Blade. MVP of this challenge. All right, how much sap we got? Two sixty. We're—I mean, we're over halfway there. Living on a prayer. All right, this is gonna be fine. 
I would really like it to like rain or something at some point. Am I forgetting anything right now? I don't think so. I think we're still good. I'm always so paranoid about forgetting something though. I might as well just, I'm just gonna just actually sell these salmon berries. I don't really need them for like energy purposes and the inventory space is probably gonna be much more valuable. Also, you can't just leave this overnight, right? It's getting late. Yes, yes, I know, game. Dr. Clovis, another $5 super chat. You can move Greg to be by the rice if you want. You don't need to water the, water the rice. They're auto-watered. You know what? You're right about that. I forgot about that part. I very rarely plant rice. Um, so thank you for that. And I'm glad I have your permission to move Gregory. Here we go. He will be the guardian of the uh, of the rice. All right, that's fine. I'm not going to worry too much about putting any more copper in there. Level two mining. Level two mining. What the heck? <laughs> I thought I was already reached level two before. I guess I didn't do much in the way of mining. I know you can leave the copper bars overnight, but you might as well smelt like one more one more batch of them if you get the chance, right? Alright. Fortune teller, bad spirits, you love to see it. By love, I mean um you don't love. What do we got here? Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing the, uh, you know, Pierre Store is now selling fertilizers. These solicitous mails. Can I get, like, a no spam filter on my mailbox or something? Like, seriously. The sheer disrespect. Alright, we got a parsnip there. Parsnip for Pam. Tim Beep's coming over for the pets! Oh, I caught him, I caught him mid-run. Is it a decision not to move the bed? I know, I know moving the bed is like obviously for more like efficiency purposes. You could like do this sort of thing. But I just like, I just like the basic layout for now. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with taking the extra few steps every day. It does add up obviously, but uh, it's not a speed run setting, so. But thanks for looking out, Blade. <laughs> Um, what to do today? What to do today? That's a good question, isn't it? I can go check the bulletin board for things and stuff and stuff and things. No sending me mail, please. Yeah, I'll just put a big sign up right on top of my mailbox. If you're gonna ask me for money, don't. Just don't. Sign Chloe. Uh, let's... I don't know what to do today. I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. I could go fishing, I guess. Fishing is good, but I don't know, like... I don't have much. I might just go to the mines anyway. Just to try and get a little deeper. I could get some of these river fish out of the way, but I mean, there's no big rush for that, really. Lake fish, we already cleared out everything we can. Eel, we need it to rain. These we could do. I could do a little little ocean fishing. I could be persuaded. Actually, I can just like fish on my farm if I wanted to do ocean fishing. I might just do that. I might go I might go fishing on my farm. That's not a fishing rod. Take this. I will take a trip into town. Actually, you know what? I'll take a trip into town later once Haley's out so I can give her her um or daffodil. Let's just see, like, what kind of stuff, like... I've never fished in the beach farm. Is this, like, is this, like, okay? <laughs> or do you still get, like, a decent amount of, like, trash and stuff here? I mean, off to a good start so far. That's one for the community center already. Oh, 
ocean fish. That's what that's what I remember someone telling me in chat. I just don't know if it, like I don't know if the rates are any different from fishing here versus fishing on the beach. We use the free water retaining soil fertilizer for uh, for the beach farm. It is a good idea, probably. It's not something I've. Oh god, I thought I. I thought I. Oh, what is what is that horrible cast? It is a lower chance than going to the beach. All right, we may head to the beach a little later here. There is something nice about just having a new setting to fish in. That might be worth it on its own. Like fishing just south of this little cherry blossom tree. It's kind of it's kind of awesome, not gonna lie. What the heck, an iridium anchovy? <laughs> With a bamboo pole, no less? How much is that bad boy worth? Probably not much, but <laughs> fifty-two point seven three percent of the time players will catch ocean fish. Those are I like those odds. I like those odds. Little herring too. Little iridium herring. We're getting good at this. Can trees survive in salt water? This one can. That's impressive. What are the requirements to get like an iridium fish? You have to. It has to be like a perfect catch, right? And it has to be like in a certain fishing zone or something. Oh, my cat's making a... <laughs> my cat wants my attention. Everyone say hi to the cat. Cat emoji spam in uh, in chat, please. For, for Minu, my real-life mascot. She's not usually very vocal at uh, this time of night, but I guess she's like, what are you still doing up? Thank you for all the cats. Thank you for the cats. It has to be a fish that would normally be gold but caught perfectly. That sounds about right. So not this one. All right. It's late enough in the day. I think we've done enough fishing here. Let's uh let's have a little change of scenery, shall we? Which of you do I need for this? Halibut, no. What's the other one for the ocean fish that I can, like, catch right now? Uh, maybe none of these, actually. I think the only one I can catch in the spring is the sardine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just sell these for now. Get a good chunk of change. Keep the sardine. I think you keep the seaweed, too. Hold on to the trash. And we are... Oh! Almost forgot. There we go. We're good. What year am I on? Year one. <laughs> it's going to be a long time. Don't worry. We got, we got lots to look forward to in this stream. I'm not going to be like sleeping through and skipping a lot of days, at least not early on here, so. Also, hold on, let me see that. Uh, thank you, Zero Devised by You. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream so far. I'm glad that you enjoyed the challenge video that dropped. I do have another one in the works, but it might be a little while yet before it comes out, so uh, hopefully you enjoy the streams for the time being. All right, art check, three hearts. Why am I holding on to the trash? One man's trash is another man's treasure. Also, I can make a recycling machine eventually. Need earth crystal for experiments. That's actually doable, 100%. Uh-oh. Time for everyone's favorite character to make an appearance. Are you ready for this, guys? He literally looks like a supervillain from behind. Look at it. He's, he's wearing a cape. You can't tell me that's not a cape. The 
man, the myth, the legend, Morris. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50. Can you, you can't do this in real life. If I walked into, like, if I, like, I obviously Pierre's is not, like, equivalent to, like, a Walmart or something, but if I just walked into like, my local's farmer, farmer's market and, like, and I worked at Walmart or something and I'm like, hey, hey guys, come buy our produce. It's way cheaper. They'd, like, <laughs> the farmer police would be, like, on me. On me faster than white on rice. Like, serious. You can't just do that, dude. He's buying the backpack! He must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. I hate this face so much. <laughs> this could this could be a great, like, emote, though. If I ever did, like, a custom emote, that's a great, like, smug emote. Oh my gosh. I have a sword, I am the farmer for release. Yeah. This incarnation of Chloe is much more adept at being farmer police, probably. The zero level one, not so much, because, like, no combat experience to speak of. Not in a good mood, I don't know. What, you want to talk to me again? Okay, I guess not. Sigh. <laughs> Man really just said, ooh, ooh. I've seen wild horseradish in the forest. Tell me more. All right. Quick prayer to Yoba. Quick prayer to Yoba. Don't mind if I do. I missed my Sunday. I missed the Sunday uh, experience, so I won't intrude on your uh, exercise session here, ladies. We'll be on our way. Well, Evelyn just catching all these villagers today. All right. Fingers crossed for pink cake. No, Evelyn. She, her eyes aren't even open most of the time. What the heck? How'd she see that? She's actually legendary. Legendary hearing from Evelyn. Pine cone. Who throws out a pine cone? Why don't you just like throw it on the ground? All right, before I do any more fishing, I think it would behoove me to uh, bring an earth crystal to our friend M. Rasmodius. How often do you live stream? The schedule is in the description, but it is currently set to three times a week. At least until this uh, this challenge is complete. After this challenge is complete, who knows if I'm uh, going to be... I, I mean... I probably will live stream still. I just don't know like in what capacity necessarily. That's still a ways down the road, so we're, I'm not I'm not gonna fuss over that. I don't have an Earth Crystal here. I, I must have left them in the. Uh... In the mine chest. That's what that's what I'm trying to say, with my words that are coming out of my mouth. Thank you, Doctor Clovis. Have a good night, uh, Stigander. Thanks for dropping by. Sleep well, my friend. While you're at the Wizards, go check out the Hat Mouse. You tempt me, so. Have you come to ridicule me? What if I had? Be kind of messed up, right? Thankfully, Chloe is a much kinder soul than that. She's not gonna, <laughs> not gonna ridicule anybody. She's a very silent protagonist most of the time. Yeah, there we go. Do I need to? I don't need to bring one of these to Gunther, so we're good. Marriageable hat mouse. When? If I could just like, I don't even need to marry him. I just, I just want him on my farm, just like chilling. Do you imagine, like, a hat mouse, like, he gets a little, like, beach chair, like, a lawn chair, and he, like, has tiny little su cute sunglasses? Just lounging out on the beach. Occasionally, there'll be, like, a little text box that appears over his head that says poke. I'm already squeeing at the possibility. 
That is the current total, yes. Thank you, uh, Blokito. Or Blokito. Whichever way you pronounce it, there's a, few, there's a few different ways. Why skipping salmon berries? I'm not intending to, it's just kind of like I'm trying to divide my attention between uh, chat and the game. And occasionally I do miss things, because I'm not entirely used to it. Ooh, how's that for missing salmon berries? Almost threw one right in the drink. By the way, quick check in chat. Uh, I don't want to talk about this like too often because it's like not great for... It's just not something I like to talk about, but how is the uh, technical side of things? Are we still... I want to make sure that, like like I said, I did do a test stream of my new setup, so I'm hoping that my internet connection is a lot more stable now. It seems to be going well so far, but uh, if there is any buffering or quality issues, do let me know. I won't ask too frequently because I don't like to <laughs> don't like to bring it up lest, lest Joja catch wind again and bring me down. Been good. 10 out of 10. Pretty good. Looks good. Sounds fine. That's what we like to hear. All right, buddy. If you have nothing important to tell me, leave me be. I have much work to do. You jerk. I just wanted to bring you an Earth Crystal. Do you forget you posted that on the bulletin board? Your work is satisfactory. It's an Earth Crystal. They don't even come in different qualities, dude. What the heck's your problem? This man. Makes the wizard happy? He didn't seem very happy to me. I, did I even get a heart for that? You jerk. He's way down here. I guess I, like, never talked to this dude, but... Why was a specific seed necessary for this run? Because a specific combination of remixed bundles is required for this run to be uh, the minimum possible, and that, that combination of remixed bundles is very difficult to, like... It's, like, so specific that it's very hard to naturally just, like, stumble into. In it, in it, and additionally, the uh, traveling cart, you have to buy specific items, but also at specific prices, at the lowest prices possible. So, um, so Blade set me up with a... Have I, I, I have already talked to Marnie at the workout thing. Blade set me up with a seed where all the traveling cart prices, all the items that we need from the traveling cart should be available at some point within the first five years. I don't have any more information than that. I also don't know... If it's actually true or not, but uh, we'll find out. I haven't been to the beach in a hot minute. There might be a few nice little forgeables down here. Well, there goes my like fishing plans. My 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 inventory is freaking full. Ooh, lost book. Hey, Dino, thank you for the 499 Super Chat. I'm loving the streams, but haven't chatted. That's all right. Lurkers are the lifeblood of all streams. Can I get to Lurkers in chat? Press 7 and, pre and hit Enter, just so I know you're here. I won't ask you to do any more than that. Thought I'd share some love. Keep keep it up. Which challenge do you think is harder? Between this and the no level up challenge? I mean, I, only, I don't have much of a perspective for this challenge yet, but I'm feeling like this is going to be significantly harder. Or at least take significantly longer. Whether that's a good gauge of difficulty is a uh, is un is reigns to be seen, I suppose. Look at all these lurkers. We respect the lurkers. Said stuff before, mostly lurking. Next day, uh, hey. <laughs> every little bit counts. I'm I'm happy for all the very active chatters and all the lurkers, all the same. High respect to everybody. I feel like I've talked to, like, almost everybody in town today. I know it's not literally everybody. I'm pretty sure I've missed Harvey, at the very least. Everyone's favorite science teacher. That was such a good video. Who have I not talked to? I didn't talk to George. Alex Maru. I guess there's a few people I didn't talk to. All right. 
maybe it was a little ambitious. Sebastian might still be out, actually. Social butterfly today, absolutely. There wasn't much else going on, so I'm all right with it. When Pam's birthday's in two days? Yeah, the 18th, okay. Gotta keep that in mind. Give her that parsnip. Great axe, it'll just be towards the final call. Oh yeah, I do have to upgrade the axe at some point. There's no huge rush on it right now. The axe and the pickaxe both are going to be required. Am I going to loot trash cans at all? I'm going to loot them on occasion at, to start with. Uh, I will need to get a, at least a cactus fruit out of the garbage cans after uh, at a certain point, but... The cactus fruit is not available from garbage cans until you complete the vault bundles. So there's no huge rush on that. Fruit cave or mushroom cave? I will be doing a uh, fruit cave this time. Probably the first time I've ever done the fruit cave, actually. Believe it or not. But I need it for uh, because I don't really have any readily accessible fruit trees. Tell us another story from your childhood. I mean, <laughs> Dr. Clovis, for $2, you're... you're you're buying them out of me here. Um, I'll just sell this cockle. I don't think I need. I think I've already like put that in there, right? Sardine, I was going to bring you to the community center. I just like totally forgot. Another story from my childhood. I honestly, like, when you put me on the spot like that, it's hard for me to think of one. Hmm. I don't know. Let me let me think on it for a little bit longer, and maybe maybe I'll go mining the net tomorrow, and then that'll coax another story out of my brain. Tell my childhood story. <laughs> that, that that would be impressive, wouldn't it? That'd be very weird. All right. Um. Hold on to that. Why not? Just leave this for now. There's no rush to put it in the community center, I guess. All right. Did you know you can decorate the caves? I did actually. I I, did, I didn't know that for a while, but then uh, who was it that did a video on um? There was like a contest to like make the coolest looking farm cave. Was that Shawnee do, or was that like un unsurpassable Zed? I know it's I know it's unsurpassable Z, but I'm Canadian, so I have to say Zed. Spirits are in good humor today. Okay, it is a mining kind of day then. Still no rain, huh? All right. Let's see here. Water can. Put this away. Quests do I have? Reach level 40 in the mines. Raising animals we're never going to do. It was Z. You think it was Shawnee? I'm getting mixed information here. I don't know who. So many Stardew Valley YouTubers to keep track of, and all of them are like <laughs> like, very good. Uh, let me think. Things to do today. Well, let's start, let's start with the watering at the very least. Oh, green bean is ready. That might be, uh, that spring crop's done, isn't it? That sure is, okay. The green bean. I, I do need another green, at least one more green bean, I think. Well, I'll need another one to ship. I don't remember if I need any more beyond that, but I can always just keep one, and then when I unlock seed makers, then I can uh, use it for that. Yeah, I'm with you, Pyrus. Seeing so many people in the Stardew Valley community like get so so big in such a short span of time. On YouTube, it's been just it's been really cool to watch, and there's and there's up and coming ones too that like I just uh, I just saw a video of like um who was it what was her name Triple Berry I think is her name she did like a hundred hundred days in Stardew Valley too because that, that it's a popular thing to do and for good reason it's it's good content to watch and that was very good so uh, 
I think she's only got like a thousand subscribers. Definitely go check her out if you get the chance. Okay, I'm just trying to think. If I need to worry about anything else. I'm, like I said, I'm very paranoid. But I think we're good. Past 5 a.m. in your time zone. Did you, did you wake up very early, or are you staying up super late to watch me? Either way, I'm I'm happy to have you here. Thank you. Hundred in-game days or real-life days? In-game days. Real-life days would be a much harder video to make, quite frankly. Would I ever consider doing a multiplayer stream? Uh, I don't really. Ha I do actually have a couple ideas for multiplayer things. I just have to see if like other people would be on board for that sort of thing. I imagine like, I imagine we could probably sort something out between uh, me and a couple other people. But I don't have a. Uh... It's not. It's not in my current schedule. I'll say that much. Wild lightning in a bottle. You're telling me. <laughs> I am like kind of the the epitome of that. <laughs> like I made one Stardew Valley video, and I've gotten I've been brought into the fold. Not that I'm complaining. Stardew Valley is one of my top games of all time. If there was any video of mine that was gonna blow up, I'm very happy it was that one. Got a coke scope out of hiding. Hey, <laughs> he's living his best life as far as I know. All right, what did you say to me? You little Junimo. Pan all the way over. And down. Yeah, there you go. There's the boiler room. Good stuff. Now we can actually see what our uh, boiler room looks like, huh? We got Treasure Hunter's Bundle. So we need, we, we could use a Topaz for that. We do have an Amethyst. This, is, this, is, this should be relatively easy. Have a good night, Leia. Thanks for dropping by the stream. Hope to see you next time. Engineer's Bundle. Shouldn't be too tough. And Blacksmith Bundle. We already have, like, one of these, so... Easy money. Yeah, the Boiler Room was never going to be a big problem. I'm pretty sure any combination of bundles in the Boiler Room is totally fine. Any non-Stardew content planned? I actually have been... I've had, like, a this crazy... The craziest urge, this crazy itch that I haven't been able to scratch to play a uh, Hollow Knight. Because I did, over in a Charlie's Discord, I did stream, like, my the first little bit of a Blind Hollow Knight playthrough to a few people. And that was so much fun, and I want to go back to it. But I kind of want to share it with, like, a bigger audience. So I'm just, like, looking for a good opportunity to do that. Because Hollow Knight is, like, from the very little I've played of it, it's an incredible experience. And I am uh, definitely on board for more. Other than that, I do have some ideas for, like, other things. Like, maybe some, uh... Maybe some Minecraft content. I'm not sure. And then some, like... Go back to my Nintendo roots, too. Could be a fun time. Yeah, I am actually working on new, new videos, Noah. So, uh, keep your eyes peeled for those. They'll be out eventually when I get the time to, to make them. I'm hoping streaming will help uh, help tide that over for the time being. Let's go ahead and take a deep dive into the mines. Still got to think of a good childhood story to tell. I just thought of one. But it, there was there. It's kind of it was a sad one, so we're not going to worry about that. I did think of another one that's adjacent to that, though. Um, so this was back when uh, we we were living like one town over from where we are now. I've lived most of my life in the town that I'm currently in. But uh, when we first moved out here from Ontario, I lived in another small town not far from here. And when we were getting ready to move, we had uh, three cats at the time. We had a uh, Actually, I think we only had... No, we had... 
Yeah, we had two, we had two cats at the time. We had Oreo and Brittany. Um, and when we were moving, in all the hustle and bustle of it all, uh, we d could not find Brittany for the life of us. Like, she was nowhere to be found. And she's not like an outdoor cat. Like, we had an outdoor cat in the past at one point, and like sometimes they just like wander off for, for a while and you don't see them for a long time, and then they come back late at night. But she was not like that. She was very much an indoor cat, and we were like, oh no. We were like, we looked everywhere for like a long freaking time. And then, uh... And as like, as it got towards like sunset of the day, we started look. We started like calling in our neighbors, like, "Hey, help us find our cat!" Like we thought, we think she might have gotten out. Like at some point when the door was open, and we were like loading up moving trucks and stuff. And it was like, "Oh man!" Like we had, we had like a like a straight up like platoon of neighbors scouring the streets, looking for uh, looking for this cat. And it was like we lived like up near like a mountain. Like we were on, like right at the base of a mountain, so like she could have gone into the forest. She could have been. She could have been so many different places. But we had like like twenty, thirty people helping helping to look. Couple hours go by. It's 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 late. Like the sun has very much set at this point. N there's no sign of her. I, me and my sister are freaking bawling our eyes out because and then like my my dad, bless his heart. My mom and dad, but bless both of them. They make they make the extraordinarily tough call. It's like, all right, we've we've got this move scheduled. We've delayed it as long as we can. We have to go. We have to get going. We we have to leave our cat behind. So we go and we gather up the last few things that we need to like get in the moving truck. Go into the living room. Move a mattress that has been leaning up against the wall for the entire day. She's sleeping in the freaking corner. Just sleeping there, big old smile on her face. <laughs> the smuggest little cat. She knew exactly what she did. We were calling out her name so much. It was, we were like, Brittany, Brittany, where are you? And she, she's like, she's a vocal cat too. She, or she was a vocal cat. And so, so like, normally we'd hear her. She, we would have seen her come out for, like, food, water, something or other. She was just chilling. She was chilling, sleeping behind a mattress. Absolute most cat thing I've ever seen a cat do. It was like, I felt like, I was so relieved, but also I was kind of like, like, come on, really? Really? You had to do me like that, girl? <laughs> it was just like... The audacity of that cat, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I am saying. So yeah, there's there's a good childhood story for you. <laughs> oh my lord. But that's the, that's just the thing you get to... You get used to when you live with cats at a certain point, like... Like, a dog will never do that to you. You call its name, like, very quietly one time. It's going to be at your ankles in, like, an instant. At least most dogs will. Most dogs that I have experience with. Did you just give me a freaking diamond? <laughs> what the heck? Welcome back, Zombo Man. How are you doing this mine crawl without, without dying and minimal sword power? Uh, salmon berries, clearly. <laughs> Look, these these flies. Can you just get out of my face real quick? At least I have like a decent sword now, so I can kill those guys like relatively fast and don't rely, rely on that crappy old rusty sword, whatever it was called. Mm, I'll take amethyst over quartz. Do I still need to? I need to put both of these in the museum, but they might be better served. I mean, I'll get the, I'll get ones for the museum at some point. I need one for the museum and one for the community center. Now that I know I have the treasure hunters bundle. One time my cat got into a little hole behind our trash can we didn't know existed and he spent an entire day in there because he refused to meow. That's what I'm saying, man. These cats, they play with your emotions. And at some level you gotta respect it. All right, I'm like done with this floor.
How far along am I right now? I'm not very far along at all, actually. This is only the third stream of the challenge, so you have not missed much. But thank you for dropping in from the uh, no level up challenge, Chrono Square. Happy to have you here. Yeah, this is this is like spring seven spring seventeenth year one, so we got a ways to go yet. Haven't even finished the community center. Haven't done a lot of stuff really. Oh man. Mmm, coal. What do we get rid of for coal here? Bug meat. That's always my go-to. One of your snakes escaped and hid in your drawer. <laughs> Sounds, that sounds like nightmare fuel for a lot of people, but I mean, I'm assuming because they have a, have, a pet, have a pet snake. Not so much for you. I do love snakes. That was That's one, one pet I would definitely want to get. Alright, we want this crab. Um, I'll just yeet the earth crystal for now. Because this completes the crab pot bundle, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get her done. Gold walnuts? Ginger Island? Last update I remember was bringing farm fishing into the game. Back in my day! I'm right there with you, honestly. I didn't have much experience with any of this new stuff from like 1.4 or 1.5 until like my uh, No Love Challenge video started getting a little more attention then I got back into the game and it was like, man, I missed so much. People out here talking about you can marry Krobus now and I'm like, what? That's all I needed to know. Ooh, red mushroom. These are actually going to be like a decent amount harder to come by now because I'm not going to have the mushroom cave. Can we make an exception and let you choose between either hat, mouse, or backpack? Unfortunately not. <laughs> I wish I could. I mean, in theory... Ooh. Sorry, I, th I thought I almost plug unplugged my microphone for a second there. <laughs> in theory... It, we could, but in practice, I, I, I'm i holding myself to a higher standard. I gotta... I got to, man. Oh, what do we get rid of for red mushroom? Toss the seeds? The mixed seeds are, are cracked in this run, though. Because we can't buy seeds, so we, like, want as many mixed seeds as possible. Like, I know I always look at mixed seeds. That's always the first thing to go when I'm playing the game normally. Because, like, who plants mixed seeds, really? Geodes might be best? I think you're actually right. We have plenty of geodes. We'll find plenty more. Red mushrooms are going to be a lot harder to come by. There will be a mushroom cave on the island? I think the cave on the island... Correct me if I'm wrong on this. By the way, hardwood. Hardwood spotted. Correct me if I'm wrong. The cave on the island is the same one as the cave that you get on your uh, farm. Aw, oh, jeez, man. <laughs> do I want this hardwood that bad? I kind of do. Actually, you know what? Hardwood's not going to be that hard to come by because we have access to the secret woods because we're going to need a steel axe anyways. I'm going to say, even though I have a proclivity towards it because of my no level up challenge, it's always a mushroom cave on Ginger Island? Wow, okay. <laughs> That's all I need to know, then. Yeah, we'll have plenty of access to hardwood, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. A little rice shoot, don't need that for now. Drop the coal and eat the cave carrots. Yeah, That's probably a good idea, actually. Just to get some extra energy, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna need it because we're at floor 29. I'll probably dip out when I hit to get to floor 30 here. You don't think you need, you need an axe upgrade? You do need an axe upgrade if you want to get to the uh, secret woods without using like a chair to get uh, behind behind the thing. Uh, okay.
right, Pam's birthday tomorrow. Don't let me forget that. Feels good to not need to be extremely careful. Absolutely true. Like, I have to be careful in different ways in this challenge, but not having to worry about, like, oh, shoot, I mined that rock and it gave me a coal. Now I have to reset the entire day. It's pretty nice. Would you be able to upgrade anything at all? Uh, I mean, I have to upgrade certain things in order to, for certain uh, requirements of perfection. But I'm going to upgrade as few as possible. Like, we're never going to upgrade our hoe, our watering can. We're going to keep the basic rod for the entire, uh, the entire playthrough. Crab pot! Nice. Need the star drop from the secret woods. That's exactly right. All right, so the bulletin board. This is the one that really threw this challenge off. This is the, this this set here right now, right that you're seeing right now, is the main reason I needed Blade's help in finding a seed for this. Because the the specific requirements for this is actually insane. You need there's there's eight possible bundles you can get for the bulletin board. You need and you and you obviously get five. There are of the eight that you have, only five can give you, like, there are only five that you can complete without any costs, right? And of those five, the die bundle also has, like, there are specific ones that you just can't get in here, or else you're screwed, because it adds on extra costs. So it's, it's like, just the whole pile of chances, one on top of the other. It's like, it, it, it gets to be some ridiculous numbers. How much longer are we going to stream for? Probably another 20, 20, 30 minutes or so. Um, Yeah, but this is, this is very doable. Amaranth is the only, like, like, you might look at that and be like, oh, you have to, the only way to get Amaranth is to buy seeds from Pierre and grow the Amaranth yourself, and that's true. But we have to do that for perfection regardless because we have to ship an Amaranth, so it doesn't actually act, add on any extra cost. Otherwise, all these bundles we can do totally fine without uh, spending any money. The hay we can get from... What is it? It's it, Marnie just like sends it in the mail sometimes. Apples from the fruit bat cave. Uh, wheat get we get from mixed seeds, I think, in like the fall. You're going to catch the legendary fish with the basic rod? That's the plan. <laughs> going to need some... You need to craft me some sea foam pudding, probably. Um... This can all be sourced easily. Not ten salmon berries. Ah, oh, shoot! <laughs> I should have held on to some salmon berries, I guess. Yeah, this can also be the ice cream we can make ourselves. Um, fifty salmon berries, fifty blackberries. Yeah, this is all. This is all very easy. So yeah, it's gonna be extra costs. Two, two amaranth seeds instead of one. That is a. That is a fair point, but. We can grow one amaranth, save it until we get seed makers, put it in the seed maker, and hopefully get like two, like one, like one to three, like two or two or three amaranth seeds back in return. That's the plan. You should at most only ever need to buy one seed for any crop because seed makers are a thing. Need late night stragglers at the saloon here. Only have one more day, well, but I doubt you're getting 60 in one day. Yeah, you're probably right. What if you get mixed seeds? That is the one thing. That is the one thing I'm worried about with the seed maker strategy. You can uh, get mixed seeds. You can get mixed seeds or you can get ancient seeds. On a very rare chance from, uh, from just any crop. So that's going to be one thing to look out for. But I th but like that that's why I said like I uh I've accounted for that in my ability to reset the day. I would reset the day if I got that, then I would reset the day, and then I think I can like wait till the next day to do the seed to use the seed maker, and then that like changes what you get. I'm not or or I could like put in a crop that like I don't care about. If it's like a set order or something, I don't specifically know how the RNG of seed makers works. But um that's my that's my plan for the time being.
little crab pot action, maybe? Don't mind if I do. Alright, we'll store this for now. I've got so many amethysts already. I need this for the community center. Things are starting to shape up a little bit more. A little bit more at a time. We already have almost all of the um, all of the rooms of the community center unlocked, which is kind of cool. Is it making you want to pick up Stardew Valley again? There is something about watching someone play Stardew Valley that makes you want to play it yourself. I feel that. All right. Uh, I do need to put bait in those crab pots. I don't want to actually, like, get anything out of them. Alright, let's go ahead and swap out our tools real quick. Tim Beep sleeping up by the palm tree. Super cute. At least he's not sleeping behind the mattress. Imagine leaving a freaking diamond outside. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully there's no uh no no pilferers, no thieves that I know of in Stardew Valley, so we don't have anything to worry about there. Could you imagine if there was just a random chance that your items would get stolen in the middle of the night? Level two combat. Also depends on the tile the seed maker is on. That is good good intel. Thank you for that. Um Chic man sandwich. Spirits are very displeased today, Red Skull. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> the fortune's so bad, I had to check it twice. Refreshing rain, a farmer's best friend. When it rains, you don't have to water your crops. You don't say. Oh, it's going to be nice and sunny tomorrow. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm very happy about that. It's Pam's birthday, thank you. <laughs> I, I might have forgotten about that. I think I would have remembered, but uh, it's good to, I did ask you to, to do that. Ooh, Dad! Have you settled into your new life yet? I can't believe you're all grown up now. Time sure flies. Now that you're gone, I have all this extra money lying around. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was. I am quite a burden, aren't I? Spending all that money on me. I learned my penny pinching from the best, Dad. Thanks. Alright. Let's not forget to gather 10 salmon berries as well for the community center. That's not the worst idea in the world. Uh, I don't really... Actually, maybe I'll keep a crab and I can like, make crab cakes or something later. Give the diamond to Haley so she cannot like you. H Haley likes diamonds, right? <laughs> or is she like indifferent to them? Here's 500 gold you can't use. I mean, we'll use it eventually. We'll put it towards our golden clock. 500 gold closer to that ten, sweet 10 mil. Give Pam a pan. Alright, um, so I'm at what I'm actually gonna give Pam is a parsnip. Not the gold quality one, sorry girl, but uh, that's saved for a special community center. Let's see what should I do today? I guess I'll be. I guess I'll probably go fishing. Just thinking if I want to do anything else. I think we're probably good. I'll go. I'll go foraging for the salmon berries. I'll probably bring. I kind of feel like. What do you guys think? Should should this diamond go towards the community center first or towards the museum first? I'm a little torn. I don't think it matters hugely either way. Bring this as well. One of these. I'll make a quick run to the community center with all this stuff. Is this, uh... That's not die bundle, no. Go to the forest, collect spring onion. Kill the crab. Community center, community center. Community you know what? I should set up a poll. You're absolutely right. Although I, see, I think most people are in favor of the community center. But... Just to be sure. 
Where should our diamond go? Community center. Museum. All right. Poll is live. Let's go, uh... I'll say I'll wait on the community center run for now. Just until the results of that poll are in. Community center is winning by a healthy, healthy margin there by the looks of it. Yeah. And either way, whichever one we pick, it's not going to be like that hard to find another diamond once we get later in the mines, especially. <laughs> Don't kill the crab. Go with the crab in a fish pond. 20 copper ores. I have to, like, mine these. I can't just, like, bring bring him these. Alright, Pam's birthday. Where does Pam hang out? We'll just, like, hang out outside her house, maybe. Actually, I can probably do a quick little garbage run. Uh, I haven't talked to Haley. Got her, got her gifts all sorted. There's Penny. There's a salmon berry. Diamond is not needed for the community center. It is in this run. We have the uh, in the boiler in the boiler room treasure hunters bundle. I guess it's technically not needed because we only need five here. But either way, none of these are going to be that hard to come by. I think I do agree with you guys. I think Community Center is probably the best bet. So let me go ahead and end that poll for now. Let's just hang out outside her house. That's not creepy, right? I mean, it's not like I'm, like, like stalking her daughter or anything. I'm stalking her. That's way better, I think. Um, just forget I ever said anything, please. Can I sit here? I'm cosplaying as Pam now. You just need five, yeah. It's true. I mean, it is required for the museum, whereas it's not explicitly required for the uh, community center. It's a bit of a toss-up. Do some fishing? I like the way you think. Uh, I'm fishing too far. <laughs> Wait, can I just, like, enter her house? I think you might be right on that. You're probably absolutely correct, but I need to wait for a fish now. Gem dupe? Once I get a crystallarium, but might be a little ways away. Yeah, she's just, like, chilling here. I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. I mean, hopefully this will make you feel better. Little little parsnip. This is nice. That's gonna like skyrocket me. Look at that. We're more we're better friends with Pan than we are with Haley. <laughs> this this will not stand. Haley, I need to talk to you right now. <laughs> she doesn't leave till noon anyway. All right, that's, that's that was good intel. Thank you, chat, for for keeping me on schedule here. I will go with the pole and give the give the uh, the what's it? Oh, I should have brought my red mushroom here actually, and put the diamond in the uh, community center here. Um, because like I said, we're gonna find more diamonds. If this is the only diamond I find on this run. I mean, you can <laughs> you can clip this right now and show me in the future when I'm grinding in year 100 for a diamond. Please. I, <laughs> I'm totally jinxing myself, aren't I? Oh, no. This is gonna, this, that'll be the worst case scenario. That'll be really funny, though. All right, I should, I can smelt some quartz, too, to get that to refine quartz. I need to do that at some point. 
Yes, I will be marrying Krobus because she's he's uh he's the only one that you don't have to pay money to marry because you don't need to buy a mermaid's pendant or a bouquet. Three hearts with Haley is enough to go into her room. You're right, but we don't need to because she just comes to me. I have that kind of magnetic personality, you know. I wish I could wait. I've already given Haley two gifts this week. That's enough. Who's telling me that? What if I what if I just want like it might be to my detriment, like if I gave her a single daffodil every day, she might get kind of sick of it, but that's my call to make. Elliot? Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Are you well? No, I'm, I only have four salmon berries. Of course I'm not well. Well, thank you for checking in. Good mental health check never hurts anybody. In fact, quite the opposite. So, uh, be sure to check in on your friend's mental health from time to time. This is a book by Marnie, by the way. Reading time with Argon on foraging. The local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce. I'm bored. Alright, donate to museum. You get an amethyst, not a diamond today, but I'll be back, I swear. Thank you, Icy, Icy Ellie, for, uh, for checking out the video. I appreciate it. Glad to see you popping into the stream, too. Welcome. Alright, five. I only need ten salmon berries, because for the forager's bundle, I don't need I don't need to get all fifty for that, because I can just do blackberries and plums instead. You can have Shadow Guy as your roommate? That was my reaction when I found out too. I'm envious of you for being able to find out for the first time. Dr. Clovis, thank you for the $5 super chat once again. This is going to be my final donation. Have a good stream, everyone. Good luck on the rest of your run. Say hi to Greg for me. I shall. Thank you for uh, for giving us that little bit of lore along with your donations. Every little bit of it is appreciated. Have a good night. You're not going to be miss missing too much if you're if you're headed out. I don't know if you're headed out for that's just or if that's just your final donation, but the the stream is going to be ending relatively soon. Today will be the last day, so. I was worried about getting like 10 salmon berries. That's egg on my face. One quick check can't hurt, right? But look at the cute little name. I mean, I already have this one, so that's like... Southwester? Southwest... Man. He drives a hard bargain. I like the idea someone had in the first, uh, first stream of just, oh, that's for the community center too. What about that? <laughs> that one is actually required for the community center, isn't it? Because, uh... Children's Bundle. It's not, actually. You only need three of these things. This is probably better served in the in the museum then, because ancient doll might be harder to come by. Not probably not, because I think they're relatively common. Anyways, like I was saying, yeah, I like the idea of uh, buying all the hats from the hat mouse after we get perfection. That seems like a fun time to me. Or it'll be like the day before I get perfection, and I'll be like, hey guys, check this out. <laughs> And I'll pop out the lucky bow that I bought off stream. I'll 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 go buy a lucky bow, like off stream, and then just hide it. Just hide it for the entire playthrough. And astute viewers will be able to tell because they'll look at these two numbers and realize something's up. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled. But I can't do that to you guys. I'm too honest. <laughs> And humble, too. I'm the most humble person you'll ever meet. Sarcasm, sarcasm. Casually ruin the challenge on the last day. You know, that's just me. I'm just quirky like that. 
OMG, guys, look at me ruining months of work for a silly little bit. Do you like my lucky bow? Winky face. Might delete later, not sure. XD. You have to pay for ice cream, don't you? You can actually make ice cream yourself. You get a uh, recipe for it at some point, so you can just cook it. We'll need to do that for uh, perfection anyway, so. Can I make it to the museum in time? Probably. <laughs> Felt cute, might throw a run. You know how it is. I passed salmon berries. Thank you, thank you. I will go back. Ooh, new reward. What could it be? It's everything I ever wanted in my life. Let's just block Gunther in there. Does Gunther ever walk out? Will this, like, ever break? Or can we just leave it, like, this chicken just, like, staring at him? <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of love it. He's <laughs> just this ominous chicken just staring forever at Gunther. That's what I think of your gift, Gunther. <laughs> Why does that get me so good? Put the chicken next to Greg? Maybe later. We'll, leave, we'll, we'll let Gunther ruminate on his decisions for a little bit. Will you include the fan art in the final video? That's a good question, actually. If I, if I can think of a good way to incorporate it, then I de definitely would love to. I will share any and all like new fan art and uh, and stuff on the stream for sure. Apparently, I missed a salmonberry somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Oops. It's one salmonberry. I'm not gonna fret about it. There's fan art. Yes, I can actually. I'll show it at the end of the stream too. I showed it at the very beginning of the stream. I will uh, once this once this day is done, we can have a quick look at it one more time. There's a Sam Mary. At Leia's house. Okay, it's a little out of the way now, but thank you very much. It's two salmon berries. You know what? That is that is like a one hundred percent increase from one salmon berry. So that's pretty big. Children's bundle. Don't mind if I do. Cute picture, by the way. Shouldn't you never pay the bus fee for Calico Desert? That is correct. We will never pay the bus fee for Calico Desert because we can get the Desert Obelisk. It makes, the, it makes completing the community center a little trickier, but we can pull it off, and that is the plan. Quick little showcase of all the art with music when I get Tim Beeb in the video. That's probably a good idea. I'm going to do a tiny bit of late night fishing to round things off because I like a good fishing sesh. Where can you send in fan art? Right now, yeah, just Twitter, Jedi, Jedi Jacob. You can tweet it at me or you can DM, DM me if you prefer. Like I said, I'll probably set up a dedicated email to specifically fan art. At some point, or or, I'll, or I might I might just make it like because I will make a Discord server eventually, and I'll probably have like a dedicated art channel for that. Hell yeah, he can get the berries now. What if I don't? What if I just don't to spite you? What time is it for me right now, Zombo Man? It is ten oh one. 10.01 p.m. Pretty close to what this time is, actually. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, one thing real quick at the end of the stream, because I totally want to mention this at some point, and I should have when she was here, because I think she's probably gone to bed now. But uh, congratulations to Charlie Barley for 20,000 subscribers. I think I'm pretty sure she hit that today. If she's still here, everyone congratulate her. Put her on the spot. Make her feel, like, noticed and seen. 
Otherwise, go to her channel. I mean, go to her channel anyway. She's great, but... go. Alright, that's probably enough fishing for the night. Y'all telling me there's two salmon berries down here? I see one. I mean, technically there were like probably like 12 on that bush. You freaking liars. I probably just missed it. It's probably further south or something. There's one right here. There's actually two right here. Never mind. Maybe I'm the liar. Either way, I think this has been a very productive stream. Let's see like what our levels and stuff are at. Chloe Bumpkin. <laughs> it almost looks like that's her last name. That's kind of funny. Why does why does this version of Chloe get to be a bumpkin when all my year 17 farm is still a newcomer? Am I ever going to not be salty about that? Probably not. All right. What do I what am I keeping? What am I selling? What are you buying? What are you selling? Keep this. Uh. Keep these. Hey, that for the community center at some point. Well, let's put, keep that in my inventory for now, just so I remember. Check hearts before we leave. I can do that. Three hearts with Haley. Three hearts with Pam. Several hearts with other people. Actually, a decent amount, like one hearts. How do I have one heart with Alex? What the heck? Did I just talk to him that much, or did I like do a quest for him that I don't remember? Haley, do you, can you do something like... Doesn't she like... She like strikes a pose or something at some point here? I don't even know. Anyway. That's enough uh, lollygagging for the time being. Sell all this junk. Make sure the important things are still here. I'm going to make a chest real quick, actually. Before, this will be the very last thing I do. Let's make a chest for the very important things that we never are never ever should touch without uh, really thinking about it first. Make this a nice vibrant purple chest. And I'm going to throw this goat's milk in here. Could you imagine if I just drank the goat's milk right there? <laughs> Alright. Goat's milk is very precious. So let's not, uh, let's not touch it. And that'll call it. That will be all. Day 19 of spring. Made some good progress. Check the traveling cart. Uh, next stream. Ghost milk? <laughs> I don't know about that. Thank you everyone so much for tuning into the stream. Like I said real quick before we end off the stream, I'll show off the fan art one more time because I love it so much. This one was sent in by uh, Jazzy Bolch over on Twitter. You can see the handle in the bottom there. Very, very much love it the cutest art style. You got Chloe and Tim Beep, the dynamic duo. You got this one from Nina slash Violet, or nev 10 on Twitter. Although I feel like she might have made the, the Twitter specifically to send me this fan art because it said like May, January 2020, or 2022, I should say. Uh, see everyone, everyone see the little Junima on her lapel and the lucky bow in her hair. It's all full. Of, and I love the earrings too, actually. The earring is really good. And lastly, the one we got for now, Tim Beeb, our beloved. Tim Beeb and the Tim Beebs by Pyrus Inc., who might still be in chat, I'm not sure. But if you are, shout out, shout outs to all the artists, obviously. Every little bit is appreciated. I never imagined I'd be seeing fan art of this sort of stuff. It's super cool. Super, super cool. Alright. That is going to be all for tonight. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining us.
Oh, thank you for the uh, last minute last minute donation from Dr. Clovis. Appreciate it so much. Y'all are the best. And I will see you all again on Sunday. Same time, same place. For the uh, for the next VOD. For the next VOD. For the next stream, I should say. It'll become a VOD eventually. But Have a good night, y'all. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Argon Matrix still with no like closing screen for the stream, so you're just going to have to stare at the Stardew Valley menu. Hope you don't mind. Have a good night, everyone.